Hello, hello, hello. Can everybody hear me? Are we live, baby? Oh, let's go. Let's uh, wait until you guys can definitely hear me. I don't want to talk to myself. Hello, hello. Can you guys hear me? I think you can. We can hear you loud and clear. Let's go. How are you guys doing? Welcome to the stream. I hope everybody is doing well. Hello, Possum. Hello, June Star. Brandon. How you doing, mate? Foodie. Victoria. Jenny. Pablo. Nonny. Dream. Welcome, welcome. Hello, Jade. Hello, Autumn. Hey, Steph. The first stream since Stardew Valley 1.6, guys. This is crazy. I hope you're all enjoying the update as much as me. Today's just going to be a nice, cozy one. And yeah, we're just going to explore 1.6 on our stream series. So we're going to get all the new content. We're going to explore it, dive into it, and just have a nice, chill one playing the new update together. I've got my cup of tea ready. Hopefully you guys have as well. First time here, hello. Hello, uh, Marie. Welcome, bunny. Thanks for all the content. Big fan here. Yeah, I've been pumping out a lot of 1.6 videos, so it's nice to just get into a stream, you know, not have no, like, time or pressure to get any specific content out. I'm just going to dive into our game here and just chill and see what we can bump into. Now, on this save file, I have done a few videos um, covering the 1.6 just to showcase some of the content. But other than that, we've not really done much. So, we are in year two, 19th of spring. A fresh new year. And we was, if you remember in the last stream that we did, we was in the beginning. But I had to skip a few days in order to show some of the new content. Um, yeah, we've got two lucky rings on this save file, which is awesome. We found on the farm. And uh, we've got all the new stuff. It's going to be crazy to naturally discover this. Because I've been doing it on my endgame farm. But now we have to do this just naturally. Let the new content come. You love all the new content videos. Good. I'm glad, I'm glad drink it. One glass of water, one can of Dr. Pepper, and a cup of peppermint tea are all next to me. So you are definitely ready for the stream, Brandon. That is insane. But guys, look at this. On our new animal tab now, we can see all the animals... And uh, how much hearts they have with us. And the names as well. And I've named all the animals after you guys. The members. So we can actually see. All of you here look. This is awesome. If we get any. Brandon you're there look the dinosaur. If we get any new animals. We will rename them to the mayo. Uh, <laughs> the mayo. I've just read someone. No drinking mayo. No I won't be doing that. Yeah I'll rename all the animals to the members. Which is awesome. You've got all the new books to find. Oh, let's just let's just play. Let's just play. Now, obviously, we are not on the brand new farm type. We are on hilltop. But I have got a brand new playthrough starting very soon. And a little sneak peek for you guys. The first episode for the 1.6 playthrough is releasing on Monday. So, yeah, that's going to be a good one. But just this... I've actually run some mods as well. I've actually got the mods to work. My favourite UI Info Suite mod. Uh, the visible fish so we can see them in the water. Some of the new sprites have changed as well. I like this mod that changes the sprites. Look, we've even got all the new sprites now for the wine and the jelly. They are colour coordinated. I love this. So good. So what I want to do, I don't know if you guys have just seen the video that I've just dropped an hour ago, uh, showing off the cabins. I built them on the farm, um, and I can actually get some of you guys in to join. But this one here, the trailer, I love this. I'm using it as storage, but I want to move it closer to the house because I don't want to keep coming down here, getting to the chest, the store. You know, it's going to be used quite a lot this room. So I think what I'm going to do is move this. Speak to Robin. Move the trailer a bit closer to the house so it's easier to access the storage. Now, I don't know if I can move it whilst the chests are in there, so I might have to move them out, but we'll see. Oh my god, so <laughs> I've been skipping quite a lot of days uh, for the, con the new content. The animals have been roaming outside and I've got auto feed, so they've been fine. 
but we've not been collecting the eggs, so this is absolutely <laughs> crazy. Okay, we're going to have a lot of mayonnaise. We're going to have a lot of mayonnaise. You can tell I've not been in here for a while. Wow. Let's get this turned into mayo and get that money fast. This is insane. After all this though, not one duck feather. What the hell's all that about? We got two ducks in here and not one duck feather. I mean, I guess they are pretty young still, so... Avoid chicken, which is a new addition. The dinosaur as well. I don't think you saw this on the last stream, but it actually uh, hatched whilst I was doing a 1.6 video. And yeah, Brandon, you said you wanted to be the dinosaur, so there you are. We've run out of food. Okay, that's that's a problem. We're going to have to go and buy some. Oh, what am I going to do with all these eggs? Um, we've got too many now for the mayonnaise. Oh, no. Let's get all the voids done first. We'll have to just work through them. Maybe we should craft some more. We've also got Dynamic Reflections mod back installed. And look, the puddles. I love this. So good. How are you guys finding the update so far? Are you enjoying it? I'm pretty sure there's quite a few of you guys as well who are still waiting for console. So that's going to be pretty exciting for you guys. When it finally drops, I will keep you updated if I hear any information about the con the console update. There's another new cabin. I love this one. The rundown, rustic, like abandoned cabin. And don't worry, our slimes have still survived as well. The update did not kill them. Which is so good. Flubber and Bluey. They will never die. Alex with the 199 super chat. Appreciate the content. Have a good stream, mate. I appreciate that. Thank you, Alex. Right, we've just got a little bit of maintenance to do because, like I said, I did one video using this farm, which was the cabins, and I had to skip a few days and get things sorted. So I've kind of abandoned some of the jobs and, the, you know, the, the usual farming things. So this is another new cabin. I love it. You can watch that video. I've just dropped it. It's a very short, very short video. But let's clear the quarry. Let's get our resources. I want to craft some of the new things as well, which is going to be awesome. We've got the new bait maker, we've got the deluxe worm bin, and there's still some recipes that we need to go and buy. So if we've got any money spare, we've got 10k right now. We should buy some of the new recipes and try and use them, like the dehydrator and things like that. Yeah, this is Smurf Bob Ross. He's loving 1.6. We've got some wormies. Got some coal. Oh, even more. Wow, let's go. Oh, three lots of coal. So I kind of, I feel like maybe the coals had a, a revamp. It was quite hard to get hold of in big amounts, right? The only way you could really get it is killing those dust sprites. But I think, if I'm right, they've added the new coal-like nodes. So it's similar to iron and copper, but you can now actually have coal ones. I've seen them in the mines. Uh, or was it the school cavern? I can't remember where I saw them, but I was like, I've never seen them before. Or it might have even been over in Ginger Island, I can't remember. But I know something to do with coal has been changed anyway. I just... I saw it on the patch notes. Oh, there's a pan spot right there. Should we go and see if we can get a, another lucky ring? Not like we need it. We've already got two. We've already got two. Has it disappeared? Yeah, it has. They don't last very long. You've got to be so fast with those pan spots. I've got another video coming out to... Oh, one's up there. Uh, another video coming out tomorrow. Um, regarding the the copper pan because there's been some changes to this now you can actually upgrade it and uh, enchant it which is so exciting so I've done a special video on that it's already up and it's already ready it's scheduled for tomorrow that's a, such a good video I, I love that the copper pan can now be upgraded and enchanted I had a blast with that yeah the fence is broken uh, Sarah and Marie thank you both so much for becoming a new member welcome to the family I don't think they can get out of here, though. So we should be fine. It just don't look very nice. But it's all good. It's still there. We'll repair it soon. Um, Moonlight, I will be starting a brand new 1.6 farm very soon. The first episode for my new playthrough is going live on Monday. Inventory's full. Got a secret note here. 
Uh, this is just the stream series that we started like a couple of months ago, and I'm just continuing it, adding all the new 1.6 content into this one as well. Yeah, we started this on the stream, we started this together, so I thought, you know, we'll continue it. There's no point starting a new one because I'm already doing one. There's going to be a, a complete video series out on the channel. So I'd rather keep this one. And this is kind of hard mode. We've made it a little bit harder, the profit margin. I, I like the challenge on this one. You disappoint a lot of people if the slimes get out. No, they'll be fine, they'll be fine. I want to go and speak to Robin. I want to see if I can move that trailer. The new cabin type. Um, whilst the chests are in there. I don't know if I need to move them. We'll see. We'll see. Do do. So. Can we move without. Oh we can. Oh this is good. This is good. Oh I should have maybe. Cleared this out here. Where should we have it guys? The trailer. For, this is for storage, our storage room. What about if we just have it here like this? Um, I think this might be okay. I'll move the bee house to somewhere else. I might have it like that. Look at that. And that's where I'm going to move all my chests in there so it's not messy, not clogging up. This space, the space on this farm is quite tough anyway. So I need to try and manage the space as much as possible. Um, and these cabins are quite good. They're like mini sheds. So that, that will do. I do have two other cabins on the farm, but they're more for when I want to invite you guys in. So let's go and sort our storage out today. It is 19th of spring. I, I probably want to get some new crops as well. Because we had a ton of cauliflower, which I managed to harvest um, a couple of days ago. But now we've got no crops, and we need we need them. So I don't know if we're going to make it in time here. Pierre might just close, if I'm not fast enough. Come on, Smurf Bob Ross, be as quick as you can. Is it four or five? I don't know, but we're going to go here quickly. Boosh. Woo. You know what? I might sell a lot of these eggs. We'll sell that mayo. We keep hold of. We've got so many. Let's just get a quick instant cash. I know we can make it into mayonnaise, but you know what? It's fine. I'll just sell those for now. Right. What crop shall we get? I just saw there. Oh my god, look how much it is for the recipe. That is so expensive. 10k. I, I really want the dehydrator because you put five pieces of fruit in there and you'll get dried fruit or mushrooms. And there's a new item as well, which is raisins. You just need five grapes. And the, the value on these is actually quite good. But 10k, we can't afford that. I mean, we have got the money, but I'm not wasting it on that. That's crazy. That's way too expensive. So I guess we just go with some uh, with some carrots. There is carrots, the new crop, but you can only find them by like digging worms and stuff. So we need to find some new carrots. I'd love to get those in the ground. So we've got 19... How many days have we got left? I don't think we could do cauliflower, can we? No, we can't. So I think I might just go with a big potato, a potato harvest, six days. Shall we do that? Or kale? Maybe do a bit of both. Let's go with... 50 of both, is that going to be enough? What else can we get? I could, oh, it's year two. We've got garlic. I forgot about this. We do need this for the collection, so I'll get 50 of those. Brand new crop. We've not even sold one of those yet, so that's quite exciting. Let's have a look where we are. We did the blue jazz. I want to ship one of everything. That's all I'm doing. Uh, Clarissa? Clarissa? I'm sorry if I pronounced that wrong. Thank you so much for becoming a member. Welcome to the fam. Welcome, welcome. Potato! Cabins look like Pierre and Pam's. Yeah, the, the Pam looks like, um, well, the trailer looks like Pam's trailer. But actually, when you upgrade them, they look even better. They look so good when you upgrade them. And one of them looks like kind of like a fishing hut, which is it's my favorite one, I think. It wasn't like stage one, the trailer is my favorite. But fully upgraded, the actual fishing cabin is my favorite. It looks so good. 
But I can't upgrade them. I have to have people come and join the farm to upgrade. Come on, I want to check the trash can. Oh, you're just going to sit there, aren't you? We do need to talk to the NPCs because there's now new uh, dialogue as well, right? Pretty sure there is. Oh, I forgot to say as well, actually. Hold on. Let's get back to the farm. I need to show you something. I need to show you something. Let's go back. We've got to plant these crops anyway. Guys, tell me what your favourite thing about 1.6 is so far. Oh, the travel lady. That is right. Thank you for reminding me, Lynn. Um, I was going to say that I think the desert festival was on as well. We might have missed that. Oh, I've got to plant all the crops here, though. We're running out of time. Never mind. Let's just go and do... I need the travel lady. And the reason why we need to go and check the travel lady... We've got... One thing we need left, and that is the truffle. If I can find this without having to um, get a pig, because we still need to upgrade the barn, I would be a happy man. The other item that we need, this is the only two left, is the rabbit's foot. But I managed to get this one in a video. I found it. We've got the rabbit's foot. I just need to donate it. We just need the truffle. The last thing for the CC, guys, and it's done. The last thing. Let's cross our fingers and hope the travel lady has it for us. And we can tick it off the list. Oh, look, also the brand new quest line. I've already done this on my endgame farm. We need to fix it up with 100 hardwood. It's going to take us ages just to do that, to be honest. 100 hardwood is not going to be easy on this one. We need to reach level 100 in the school cavern as well. So much to do. Right, come on. Give me a truffle. This would be incredible. It really would. Please, please, please. Send me some luck, guys. Send me some luck. Oh, I thought that was it then. <laughs> I saw the shape of it. Octopus. Okay. Why is it all fish? What the hell? Nope. It's not going to be, is it? Strawberry. Oh, no. Come on. I need to... I've got to get a pig. I need to upgrade the barn. All the fish. All the fish. You love the new raccoons. They're so pretty. I know. They look amazing. I really enjoyed doing that quest line for the video. It took me hours, though. Even on my endgame farm, I even had all the items. You know, that's one good thing about playing on the endgame farm. You don't have to really wait too much because you've got all the things. But it still took quite a long time to do. So this is going to take us, oh my god, on this save file forever. It's going to be ages until we finish that. The new neighbours are cool, yeah. Don't forget to riz Jody. I'm always rizzing Jody. She loves it. Right, I guess with the time we've got, let's plant some crops. It's 7 p.m. It's raining, which is good. I don't have to water, so. The soil is still intact because, like I said, I did just recently harvest the cauliflower that we had. And I've still got, I've not done anything with it. I'll go and show you that. Right, let's see if, uh, the kale. Let's get this in. The rain is very relaxing. Could fall asleep, guys. We probably needed more seeds here. Yeah? I might have underdone it. Because we've still got the other side. Pretty close though, pretty close. In fact, I might have overbought. We'll see. Let's get these in before it's too late. And then we never have to worry about these. The sprinklers are going to sort us out. I'm so glad I've got this layout done. It makes farming so much easier. So I think our plan, what we need to do, is save up for that um, barn upgrade. We have had, we need to get the pig. Let's just face it, I don't think the travel aid is going to have it for us. I don't think it's going to happen. So the best thing we can do is just try and buy it. I want to get the CC done as soon as possible. And then we can start focusing on Ginger Island, all the 1.6 content. 
I just want to get the CC done. Oh, bats, go away. Get you! Right, let's get some more eggs in. Get some duck mayonnaise. Right, we've got 50 potatoes. Potato! Let's get these in. I think we've bought too many seeds, but it's all good. When these are ready, we'll plant more. Oh no, hold on, hold on. This might be pretty close. Oh, that's not bad, is it? I missed one there. So we only overbought by six seeds. That's crazy. That's not bad. Oh yeah, this is the new item as well, the moss. We're going to need this for quite a lot of crafting. I was actually taking a little look. Uh, we need it for the deluxe worm bins. We need it for the mushroom log, which is the new thing as well. We can put these down near trees and we'll get mushrooms every so often, which is quite good. And you know what I'm excited about as well, guys? The cookout kit no longer gets unlocked when you're like, what, level 9 foraging? <laughs> you get it so much easier. I think it's level 3. Finally. Oh, I forgot about my cup of tea. Oh, no. Don't be cold. Mmm. It's gone cold. No. No. Blue Fire Wing, thank you so much for becoming a member. Welcome to the family. Is the storage trailer a 1.6 item? It's a cabin. It's not a storage trailer. I'm using it as storage, but it's actually a cabin. And yes, it is new. It is new. We're going to actually do that very soon. So I think what we should do is start doing that. Um, well, maybe we might have to sleep. So let's get rid of this grass. I need to fence this off the cow so they can roam on this side instead. Otherwise, they're going to get in the way. So I might do like a gate and a fence going down here. And then block it off here. They've got all this area. I'll get some grass starters. That should sort them out. We've not even sorted the cows out today. Oh my god. Look, you can actually see the quality now as well. You see this? It tells me that this one's gold. So good. There's a lot of like little changes like that. We're not even going to be able to... Oh, I didn't get no food. Crap. Damn it. Um, We'll have to sort those out tomorrow. Got some wooden floor. If I put this, I'll craft some more and I'll have it going across. I'll have to do this tomorrow, but I think I'm going to like have a little spruce up around here. I need to move all the things from these chests, move them into there, get some light in there as well because it's really dark. A diamond's ready, let's get that. I've got to empty all of these out. So, this is what I've been gathering. Whilst I was doing the videos, I was just storing everything that was producing, I was keeping. So obviously I can show you what we've been making since the last stream you saw. So we've got the massive cauliflower harvest. We can actually sell these for some money today. Well, I don't know if we should maybe pickle them. Should we pickle the cauliflower? Oh yeah, this is the rabbit's foot I was telling you about. We need to do we need to donate this and these two artifacts as well. It was what I found. So we've got three things to donate. Yeah, we should maybe use our cauliflower here and pickle it. Or well, no, not pick cauliflower. No, juice. You get cauliflower juice. It's obviously going to be better. So let's do that. We've got nothing else to put in there, so let's just make some money. Moolah moolah. And we'll sell all of our wine that we've been making. We get a bit of cash today. What's that letter? We need to read that. Cactus fruit wine, the crystal fruit wine. We made a peach one. We made some apple. Wild plum. We we'll sell that cheese, the mayonnaise, the void mayonnaise. Oh, yeah, we've got coconut wine there as well. Right, we're good. Let's go to sleep. What's this? Oh, the auto grabber. 25k, I'd love to get that, but can't afford it. 
Hi Dan, how you doing mate? Can you post the mods you're using? Yeah, they should be in the description. I don't know if I've changed, but usually I put them in, this, in the description. There's only like four or five mods that I'm using. Um, one's called Vanilla Tweaks. One's called a Visible Fish. Another one is called Dynamic Reflections. Um, and then UI Info Suite. 4.2k, come on. Uh, Usax, me and Pox will be doing a 1.6 playthrough, yes. I'll be doing a single player 1.6 playthrough, that's just me, using the new farm and all the new content. And then we'll also do a co-op one as well with me and Pox, like kind of doing a challenge, going head to head. We don't, I need to speak to him, I don't know if we're going to do like a, a challenge, a series like with the previous two, or maybe working together, I don't know. But we need to start planning, now that the update's here, we need to do that. So this trailer here is a cabin. It's a multiplayer cabin. I'm using it as storage, as you can see, uh, using these new signs that we've got in 1.6. Uh, I'm going to kind of make a new storage room going all the way across here. Sadly, I can't get rid of the bed or this. Unless one of you guys come and join, I might invite a member. You can come, get these uh, crops here and pick up your bed for me and just delete it. <laughs> and then I'll have an empty cabin. Is anyone up for that? Someone can come and help me out and create this into a full storage room. And then I'll decorate the inside as well and uh, yeah, we'll get all the storage. I just need to kind of move things across now. So, this is what we're going to do. So, resources. Anything that's labelled resource, like the moss and the wood and the fibre and the sap. No, the sap. Why is sap classed as forage? Even though you use it as a resource. Well, I guess I'll take that out there then. Because we've got a forage one there. Pine cone, that's a seed. I need to make another one for seeds. Because look, I can put like the garlic and stuff in there as well. Any spare seeds. Right, let's go and get the other stuff. Hey, the cows are out, but sadly there's no grass. And we've got no food. So <laughs> we need to sort these out today. Because they're going to hate me. If you want to see all of these cabins, the new variants, I've just done a video an hour ago. It's on the channel. And you guys can literally watch that and see what they look like and see how you build them and things like that. You can see all four different ones. Honey, honey. Do, 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 do. Oh, that's all the members' tools. I need to get rid of them. You got some hay from the grass you scythed. Um, well, it must have not worked because we've got uh, auto feeders, right? Or is that in the coop? Oh, yeah, yeah, sorry. The coop's fully upgraded, but this isn't. I forgot about that. There we go, we got a little bit. We got a little bit. Right, we've got some more milk here. Do, do, do. So we need to upgrade this. I just need to get as much money as we can. I might do some fishing or something like that. But I want to sort this storage out. So let me start with this one. This is kind of the resources. Um, let's get all this out. Let's start moving things. And all this is going to be neater as well. I'm going to make a nice layout. Don't you worry. Give me time. Right. Resources. So we've got clay, coal, fiber, hardwood, stone, wood. Like I said, I'm just going with the item description. If it says it's a resource, it's going in this chest. Simple as that. Alright. Have we got any mining related stuff? So the geodes. Uh, oh, there's another chest that I need to move actually. There's a lot of stuff in there. Right, forage for now. I'm going to put the seeds in here as well. But we do need another chest for that. Mix seeds. Artisan goods. Maybe I need... I might have to put them in here for now. Until we get another chest for that as well. We'll sort it. We'll sort it. We're getting there. We can make the big chests. Yes. But I don't think I've got the recipe. No, we don't have the recipe yet. Which, when we do, I will start crafting them. 100%. I just don't... know. We need to go and buy it. I don't know if it's from Robin, actually. I can't remember who sells the big chest. 
I've got on my end game farm where I do all the videos, I've kind of unlocked everything. So it's kind of thrown me off now. And this is why Concerned 8 recommends everyone to start a new game. Because I actually don't know where you get the big chest from. <laughs> because when I loaded my end game farm, it was already there. The dwarf sells it. Oh, Mel. Thank you so much for that. Let's go and take a trip. How much is it? Have we got enough money? I bet it's so much money. I've got a feeling. Uh, right, look at all this sap as well. We've got, oh yeah, I forgot about the winter seeds for the tea saplings. We've got so much of that. Oh, this is kind of food. Oh my god, this is where all the forage is. Okay. I need to build another chest. Let's get this storage room set up. Forage, okay. So, we don't really have much forage. I'm going to rename this chest, I think. I might rename this, like, food. Like, fruit and veg or something like that. The sap, oh yeah, that is... I'm just going to keep the sap in there. Keep the sap in there. It's better as a resource, in my opinion. It's going to take me a while to get all this storage figured out. Uh, quick question, Sharky. What mod is it that you're using for the realistic cheese and the seeds? Um, Effie, it is called Vanilla Tweaks on Nexus Mod. Just type in Vanilla Tweak and the mod will be there. Now, bear in mind, it's not been updated yet for 1.6, so all the new items in the game for 1.6 are still vanilla, but the mod developer has made a post saying that it's currently doing an update, so I can't wait for that. So, like, some of the new items, like, like the moss and things like that, um, will be updated very, very soon. Right, so... Yeah, the big chest might be quite good. Let's sort all these animals. I need food. I need some grass starters. Um, how much hay have we got? Only 22 pieces. We need way more than that. Yeah, these are not happy with me. Okay, let's start working on these eggs. That's done. Maybe we'll go take a trip to Marnie now. Let's get the animal food at least. Start taking a look in the shops as well, because we need to get all the new recipes, if we can afford them. Uh, Karsten, that is a video that I've got in mind. It is cooking up. It's cooking up. <laughs> I've got so many videos for the 1.6. I'm trying my best to cover it all for you guys, because I know there's just little things. Like, some videos are only four or five minutes long, because they are quite brief, but... I just want to kind of not only show it off to you, but it's also where I play and enjoy as well. Like, I'm discovering it for the first time whilst I'm making a video. So like checking out the cabins, that was my first ever time seeing them. Oh, we can, oh, I forgot about this guys. We can actually adopt a new pet and this is because our dog loves us. And look at the new pet type. We can get a turtle, but look how much it is. Oh my God, that's so much money. Half a mil? That is crazy. I want one of the new dogs, though. I love these two do two new dogs. I don't even know which one's my favourite. I need to see them up close. Oh, they look so good. Which one do you guys prefer? Like, if we are to get another dog uh, to join Spud, our dog that we've got currently, who should we go with? Which one should we go with? I want one of the new ones. Should we go with the grey or the dark brown? I don't know. I mean, I do want the turtle as well, but that's going to come. First, I think we need to get another dog friend. You like the red collar? Yeah, I think so as well. The bandana dog. The the brown one here looks a little bit too similar to the standard, in my opinion. Other than being dark colour. So I, I agree, I think this grey one with the collar, or the red bandana thing, is going to be amazing. I need to buy that. It's just so expensive. Right, this is the animal catalogue. Oh my, but we need this by the way. Because, if you don't know what this is, you should. If we buy this, basically, if Marnie is never here, we can still shop, which is so good. It's 5k though, and I'm trying to get the barn upgraded, so I can't get that yet. 
Look at the doghouse as well. I love all this new content. It's so good. Right, let's just get the, the hay for now. I might just get... Forty pieces, and I'll scythe some grass because I need I need to get I need that money. I can't afford to keep doing all that. Concerned ape heard us. He did. Right, I'm gonna check some other shops. Let's check. I want to see recipes. Um, I need to kind of understand myself where we buy all the things from, because like I said, when I did those videos, I automatically unlocked everything. Oh, copper pan spot. Come on. I know, baby. Shall we go and have a look at the um, Krobus? Let's see what Krobus is selling. Does he have any recipes? Uh, the pets can find us gifts, yeah, if they love you. When you pet them, you'll get a random gift. Oh, yeah, we still need the star drop, too. Okay, this is interesting, isn't it? So, this is the wizard catalogue. Basically, new furniture from the wizard. It's kind of like themed around the, you know what I mean, like the wizardy. Um, that's so much money. Butterfly powder, basically, if you sprinkle this on um, on a pet, it will remove it. So if there's a pet that you want, but you've not got enough room, or there's a pet that you don't like, you can kind of just get rid of it, basically. But once you've done it, it's done. It's kind of like getting rid of babies, but you can get rid of pets. Right, nothing else there. We need to go to all of the shops. I want to see everything. We should be accepting these as well. Rare powerful goop. Going to invite some friends over to do a rock. Crystals. Is this where we need one of every crystal? Which one should we go with, guys? Should we try and get the powerful goop, or should we try and just get one of every mineral? Or crystal, whatever it is. Which one's the easiest? The reason we should be doing these, because you do get those price tickets, which are quite good. Um, I mean... The ghost one's pretty easy. Alright, let's go with that one then. So we've just got to slay some ghosts. Do, 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 do. do some foraging. I don't think Clint sells anything new, if I'm right. Yep, nothing new. Going there. Look, our trailer looks like this. So good. See what Gus is selling. Nothing new, nothing new. Right, we'll go up to Robin and the Dwarf. I want the big chest. I'm just hoping it's not too expensive. Yeah, I do know you can get coal rocks now. I did see them myself when I was in the mines. I was like, oh, I've never seen those before. It's an easier way to get coal now, which is so much better. I love the new waterfalls as well. So pretty. There it is. 5K. I really want a workbench as well, because I want to put that in the new storage room, and then crafting is going to be so much easier. But, you know, 2,000 gold. Oh, my life. If you don't know, if you're new to this, this uh, playthrough series that I'm doing, we are on the hardest difficulty for profit margin. So making money for us is extremely hard. Um, so when I say 10k to our name, that's quite a lot for us. 
like it's so hard to make money at this point. <laughs> so 5k seems quite a lot for us right now. Do you guys think it's worth it or should we just focus on getting that truffle and getting the barn upgrade? Because it's the last thing we need to donate for the CC. And yeah, it's going to be quite pricey to get the barn upgrade plus the pig. Should we get all this new stuff later? I think we've got to get that truffle. I'd love to get the big chest and the uh, the workbench for the storage room, but I think we need that barn. I can't keep spending the money. Right, okay, I think what we'll do, let's go back and sort out the chest for now. We, we won't be able to do a, a good enough job until we get all like more chests and the big ones and the workbench, but let's just try and like, organize the best we can and then we'll do some fishing and just try and pump out the money. Can someone confirm, because I always forget, how much money we need for the fully upgraded barn? I know, like, obviously the wood, but I just need to know with money-wise. Wow, I've not checked this in a while. This is quite good. Oh, I've got no space. Right, okay. Let me sort this out, because this is getting quite messy now. 25k. That's what I was thinking about, 20k. Right, the seeds, I'm going to make a new chest for those. So, just bear with me, bear with me. Bear with. We've not even got much wood, have we? Oh, wow. We're going to actually we're gonna have to chop down a lot of trees. That's crazy. We're struggling. We're on the ropes. We're on the ropes. I'm going to keep these in there for now. What I'll do is I'll use this wood. We'll craft one more chest. This can go here. Can I also craft the sign? Yes, just enough. We'll put that there. We'll use this for seeds. There we go. And that's kind of going to help with this one a little bit. Give us the space that we need. I'll even put tree seeds in there too. That's so much better. Okay, let's put all this in there. Looking sh not too shabby, if you ask me. Right, okay. So we definitely, definitely need wood. We desperately need wood. So, the mining related, we've got some ore that I'm going to keep in there. Let's go and sell the cheese and the mayonnaise. Also, keep moving all of these. Let's have a look what we've got left. Food, I'll keep that in there. Right, I've got more food. And this is all the mining stuff. Okay. Today's just going to be a bit of a wasted day. But look, the crops are sorted. No worries, no worries. Got more mayonnaise. Let's get more eggs on. Right. Let's sell cheese, mayonnaise. We've got quite a lot of minerals, to be honest. Just going to get rid of the eggs for now. Shut up, cows. You're too loud. Let's go move these. I will colour coordinate these as well. We'll have it all looking amazing soon. And then I, what I might do is kind of think of a system where we can have like uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven chests and then in the middle a workbench. So I can come straight up here, boom to the workbench and everything around it I can just craft. So I will be doing that when we do get it. And this is going to be a crafting slash storage room. And it's going to be so much better. It's going to, it was, We're going to get there. We're going to get there. Uh, so forage. I'm going to, like I said, I'm going to call this food. Maybe food slash forage. I don't know. I'm going to call or coordinate this. I like to have the mines like a black or a grey. Forage or vegetables. Food will go green. Seeds. Uh... We'll go like a light green. Resource I'll keep standard. 
Right, mine. Let's get all this away. So anything that we find from the mines is going to be in this chest. Ore, bars, geodes, minerals, you know how it is. Right, that's going to be our food. We've got some eggs that we can keep making mayonnaise from. We've got some paths. Yeah, nice cozy one today. We're literally just out of here. Playing the 1.6. Not, I'm not like specifically trying to show off the content to you guys. I'm just kind of playing and enjoying while you guys are watching, you know. On our stream series here. Just, just a cozy one. Nothing crazy. Right, I've still got mortis transfer. Oh my god. Bush, just enough. And look, we've got some empty chests now that we can start taking as well. Right. We're nearly done. We're nearly done. Just a little bit of maintenance. You know how it is. I might actually keep the... No, I'll keep the bars in here. It makes sense. We've got so much ore. What the hell? Monster loot slash mines, you know? We definitely need a big chest for this. The bigger the better. We need to upgrade that as soon as possible. That's going to get filled out quite fast. Um, it would be good to actually maybe move the furnaces in here as well, like along the bottom. That'd be kind of good. They're out here right now. Right, we don't need that sprinkler. What the hell is that doing there? Go away. We'll move all of this. Here, we've got more food. We'll get rid of that. That's now empty. Take the food from there. That one's now empty. That's empty. Fish. Okay, we need to make another chest. Let's go and put down one of these. Um... Like I said, what I think I will, for now, I'm just going to keep them all in a row. We've got so many. This one can be blue. We, ain't, we have not got enough wood to make the signs, so... But this is going to be fishing things. Anything fishing related. What I'll do is I'll probably make this one food. Cooked meals, you know, for energy. So anything that's not forage. So, hold on, we've got fertilizers here. What are we going to do with that? We've got animal food, artisan goods. Um, okay. 62 salmon berries, wow. I think we'll put the fertilizer with the seeds. It's kind of like farming related, right? And the coffee beans as well. Artisan goods. So what do I do with them? I'll just keep them in here for now. The honey as well. We're getting there. We're finally getting there. Right, diamonds. They go in the mining. Once we've got them all established, we can easily deposit things here. We've already got a dinosaur. Our first one actually hatched, so we should start getting dinosaur eggs very soon. Uh, artisan goods. We forgot about that one. I will get signs for these, so it's going to be so much easier. And workbenches. But I think we're about good. We're about good. That's so much better. This is a little production. Um, let's move the fish. Oh, crap. Can we do any more mayonnaise? Got one random sprinkler, which is so weird. Let's put this here. Extend it a little bit. Have we got a path? Here we go. One extra. Right, large eggs. Let's start using these up. Look at gold quality and mayonnaise. Come on. Do these trees at the back not have any tree tappers on? They never seem to give us... No, I don't think they do. 
We might need more tappers for these ones at the back. Oh, you see that there? That's a new worm. New wormies. I'm going to go and dig that. You might get some new seeds from that. So if you didn't know, there's actually two different types of wormies now. There's um, the standard, and the other ones wiggle a little bit different. And I think they've got like green moss on them as well. And they give you some of the new stuff. So let's put all the fish-related stuff in here. And we should be good to go. Warped open to the beach, why not? Let's go dig up them worms. Oh, the torches. You know what? We should put them in. Where are they gone? I'll keep them inside the house. We'll lighten things up a little bit. We'll put them like in the corners. Um, hmm. Can't really put any at the back because the signs are going to go there. I wish you could put them on the walls. How cool would that be? I'll put one in this corner until we extend. There we go. Right, that's a l little less dark. Right, let's have a look at these. I might put some torches around here. It's getting quite dark on the farm as well. Do 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 Oh that's gonna bug me Is that pan spot right there as well? Oh come on let's go What we got Bone fragments Interesting Where's those worms? Oh, they're right here. That's hard to see. Let me get a torch here for these guys. Oh, the fence! Oh, no. That was close. Oh! He's trying to breed! Come on, come inside. Oh, this is chaotic. Come on, come in here. Come on. He's a male. Look, he's got a love heart. He's trying to breed with the females. Come on. Go on, make a baby. Make a baby. He's going. Oh, God, I'm going to die. Never mind me. Get in there and do your job. Oh, I'm, I might die. No, get in here, you... This way. The males are crazy. Oh, he's in, he's in. Right, do a loop. Oh, no. Oh my god. <laughs> right, go this time. Oh my god, it's not letting me put it down. They're in the way. Flubber Bluey, come on, I'm going to pass out. Oh my god, these are so annoying. Get in here. Thank god for that. Oh, wow. Right, male, do your thing. Wormies. Oh, we got the new carrots. Yes. We got new carrots. Oh, my God. Every time I tried to put the fence, the slime would jump through. Can I sleep in this bed? Quick, quick, quick. Oh, yeah, we can. Oh, my Lord. I nearly killed Flubber and Bluey as well. It was pitch black. I couldn't see anything. I don't want them to die. I hope they hope oh, I hope they haven't. That was carnage, guys. I literally I was starting I was sweating there. I was sweating. Whew, right. If we've woke up to a slime baby, it will all be worth it, alright? Come on. I saw the heart, it was trying to breed with them. Is there any babies? Nope. This is never good. The males just don't want to make babies with them. Maybe they secretly love each other, guys. Flubber and Bluey. They don't like the men. <laughs> they love each other. Oh, 
Oh, that was close. We nearly lost all that wood. I'm going to clear the farm. We need wood really bad. Uh, close, obviously, towards the barn upgrade. But also, to craft all the new stuff, we're going to need tons of it. So let me start chopping all this down. We also need some money as well. You guys said 25k for the barn upgrade. So we're on 13.7. We'll get there. We'll get there. The babies might despawn too. That actually might be a good uh, a good shout, James. Maybe they do make babies, but because they shouldn't kind of be there, they despawn. Because Bluey and Flubber, obviously, there's something wrong with them. They glitched. So maybe the babies are there, but they're just, like I said, despawn. So yeah, maybe we'll never get babies. Yeah, we're going to need 25k for the barn upgrade and then another 16k for the pig. That is so, so much money. Especially because we're on profit margin like 50% that's gonna be so hard to get guys we gotta start grinding on that money now oh my god look at this another pan spot straight after gold let's go we can actually get catfish in this pond do you see that great money if we can James I'm loving 1.6 I um I was going to say I prefer it to 1.5. Now, it's not... 1.5 was amazing because we got Ginger Island, which is... It was so exciting discovering a complete new area. But I think with 1.5, there's a lot of, like, quality of life changes that's being made. Like, little things. But have just made the game better, if that makes sense. It's like... I don't know. It's, it's hard to describe. The compl like you said, they're completely different. 1.5 and 1.6 are completely different. In terms of content, but um, yeah, there's oh, I'm not fishing in there. That's rubbish. I like the 1.6 just because it's just all the little things have just made the game for me more enjoyable. Like, think about this new update. We've not had nothing major. Like, what would you say is the most major thing that we've had in terms of, like, huge difference, huge content? It's not that much. Maybe the festivals? I don't know. Maybe the new farm? Obviously, the new mastery system is quite big as well, to be honest. The like, new powers from the books. I think this is quite big. But, you know, we've got no new area. No new NPCs or anything like that, you know? The raccoon quest, yeah. But again, it's like... If you think about it logically, it is quite simple. It's one tree with a few raccoons in it, and they're just you're just doing bundles. You know, that, and that's kind of it. It's not major, is it? It's just a new quest line. Opinion on the new farm. Well, I've only done a quick farm tour. I've, I've actually never played it in terms of enjoying the, the farm for what it is. But on Monday, my first episode for the 1.6 playthrough drops, and that is where I use the new farm, and I'm kind of actually going to play it. I'm going to farm on it, plant crops, get animals, you know, and actually use it for what it is, rather than looking, because that's all I've done so far, I've just looked at it. But in terms of visual and looks, it's... Ooh. Oh, let's go, we got one of the new skill books. So reading this, guys, we're going to get farming XP, and guess what? We don't need any farming XP, no. This would have been so good. I'm, I'm maxed out. But when the book lady comes, or the bookseller, we can actually trade in that book for something else. So it's all good. Oh, that, that could have been anything. We could have had, like, the mining, the foraging would have been good. Instead, it gave us the farming that we don't need. But the skill books are amazing. I think, that, so far, that's one of my favourite things. Um... The skill books and all the different books are so good. Such a fun thing for Stardew Valley. Like, you know, the power-ups and the things that they give you is so cool. Right, what are we doing? We need money. Shall we just pump out the fishing? Um, it's raining. We can get a lot of catfish if we're lucky. Let's check on the ladies. I'm Brandon, the dinosaur. <laughs> God, 
you know what, guys, as well, I, I do wish there was a... Um, I thought for 1.6 we might have got a bigger backpack, but we don't. I'd love another row backpack inventory. I'm still maxing out this. It's kind of tough. But we've got the big chest, so it's all not that bad, is it? Oh, yeah, the animal food. Let's put this in the silo. That's that done. The new carrot seeds, I want to get these down. Shall we do it? We've got a new sprinkler down here. Let's get the new carrots. Let's read about them. What does it say? Three days to grow? That is so fast. Come on, then. That's not, That must be the quickest growing crop we've got, right? I thought we had three. What's all that about? Did we only have two? Oh, I thought we had three. Never mind. The price of pike got raised. Really? Is that true? I was going to say, you know what? Them fish are quite tough to catch. They're, like, they're not the easiest fish. So that kind of makes sense. Oh, God. Uh, storage is just an absolute nightmare. Pierre, stuff you. Not a chance am I doing anything for you, scumbag. It's faster than parsnips. I know, right? That's crazy. So, yeah, look. It's going to be so much easier now just to dump off all the stuff. Get rid of the colour. We've actually got things set up. Storage is going to be so much better. Right, I don't know what to do with all these eggs. Um... We're getting more eggs than we've got mayonnaise machines, so I might just have to start selling these. I think in the food one, I'm going to keep some to cook with, I reckon, as well. We can make fried eggs and stuff like that. That's not too bad, is it? I know... Uh, yeah, never mind. Let's just do that. I was meant to be doing fishing today, and I'm all over the place. I'm just going to get rid of these eggs, guys. Get that quick instant cash. Travel lady as well. No! She might have the truffle for us. Oh, right, we've got to go. We'll do fishing down there. <laughs> All those eggs. What do you think it is? Easter. I know, right? How convenient. And, and look, this game is just trying to keep me distracted. As I'm trying to do so... They disappeared. There was a pan spot and it went... Oh, that's so annoying. Why do we dislike Pierre? Because he's a scumbag, he's greedy, he just is rinsing the town for the money. All he cares about is himself and his business and money. That's all he cares about. Right, come on, truffle. Yeah, we can upgrade the pan at Clint's. Yeah, I've got a, I've got a video coming out for that. I, I really enjoyed it. I did it on my main farm. It was so good. Right, we know what. We're just going to do a little bit of fishing here. We can still get catfish, shad. That's about it. Why am I just getting trash? What's going on? We need a better rod. We've got a better rod. We've got a iridium rod and all we're getting is trash. Energy's low, yeah it is. But we've got field snacks, we're, we're all good. I need money. I have to do this all night long. Are we max fishing skill? I forgot. Yeah, we are. You can argue that Pierre and Joja, or Morris, are just the same. Like, Pierre is no better than uh, Joja Mart. He's exactly the same. Just independent. Just cares about his business, his money, customers, you know. It's exactly the same. I did a whole video on Joja Mart and Pierre. He actually did really well. People loved it as well. Oh, look! River Jelly. 
That's one of the new items. So you actually need one each of this river, cave, and sea jelly. And we need this for the smoker, which you can now smoke fish. And it increases the value of the fish, which is amazing. How rare are those mystery boxes? Uh, Mr. Jackson, I actually, on my endgame save, I've actually found quite a few, to be honest. They're not super rare, but they're not obviously common. I'd say they're like, uncommon. So you don't find them too often, but you'll find them every now and then. Fishing, digging, I've even found them from chopping trees down. The gold ones are quite hard to get. The gold mystery boxes are quite rare. I've only ever found, I think, four or five in total. But I've found quite a lot of normal ones. Yeah, the prize tickets in the mystery boxes are fun. Yeah, I, I agree. Just makes the game fun, you know, do these little things like that. There's a pan spot right there as well. Never mind, it's disappeared. Yeah, I think daily look does uh, have an impact on it. I was eating lucky lunches and those popping up like crazy. I was getting plus three luck. You can find way more mystery boxes when you've got a good look. And as well, or well, actually, you've got to be maxed out on your fishing, but... Do you know the treasure chest? When you're fishing and you see a treasure chest, there's now gold ones, which are even better. But you have to be maxed out and master fishing before you can start seeing them. But they're kind of cool. A lot of people were saying they think fishing's been, like, made harder. Do you guys agree with that? Do you think fishing's harder than it was? I personally don't think it is. But I know a lot of people are saying they're struggling more now that it's been... Well, now that 1.6 is here. But I I'll never know about that. You know, do you reckon it has? Do you reckon fishing's had a little tweak or... To me, it's the same. But I guess I'm just so used to fishing now. I do it all the time. Yeah, it's the same. I'll let you know next week. <laughs> yeah, I saw a few comments of people saying that they think fishing was harder. I guess it depends, because I find fishing so much more difficult with a controller. I just can't do it. Well, I can, but it's a lot harder. Like, when I'm using the mouse like this, it's so much more responsive and a little bit easier for me. But I just can't. <laughs> I struggle with controller. I think people are mixed. Some people are saying fishing's the same, some are saying it's harder. We'll never know, guys. We'll never know. I don't think nothing was in the patch notes. I didn't see anything, so... I don't know, maybe it was like a little a little one that didn't need to be noted down. Well, all this fishing tonight and we've not found one chest. And it's actually a decent day today. No treasure. Not for us. Who's the best girl in town? That's Jody. There's your answer. Jody. By far. You know, I've actually not seen Jody's new outfit yet. You know, the winter one. I've only seen a few, and I've not seen Jody's yet. So, but sadly, we've just gone into spring, so I'm not going to see that for a while. God, is it harder to find treasure or what? That's what they've changed. There's nothing. I normally find quite a lot of these, but nope. I, I should maybe get some of the new bait as well. I think that's what we should work towards. The new bait's actually really good. I'm enjoying it a lot. So if you get Deluxe Worm Bin, uh, Deluxe Bait's really good. It, it makes fish bite faster, but it also increases the size of your fishing bar. It's really good bait. And then, of course, you can get a special bait now. So let's say we want to hunt for catfish. We can make catfish bait. So good. So if you're hunting for a, a like a special fish, then uh, yeah, that's that's the one you need. But I want the deluxe worm bin. We need 30 moss, and in fact, we need to craft our first ever worm bin. We've never even done that, but we can. We've got enough resources to do that. So yeah, that's what we should do. Let's get deluxe bait.
Well, we're not having much luck with catfish, are we? Or treasure. We're not going to make much money at all. If we look at our fish collection, we're doing so good. Obviously, there's a new one now as well. Which we might be able to get straight away, but I don't know if it's too late, actually. We should have got this earlier. It's a new fish we needed for the collection. I'll show you where it is if you don't know. I just don't know if you can catch it at night time. Because I caught it in the day. But one of my new favourite areas in the game now. Is this. The waterfall. How awesome is that? And you can actually fish in the water down here. And this is where you get the new fish. But I don't see it in the water. Catfish is here though. That's nice. Oh, more river jelly. We're exhausted. Spring onions, I'll, I'll probably take them before we go back. Come on, be the new fish. Oh, this might be a good spot for... Oh, there's a chest. Catfish might be quite a good spot here. Oh, no, it is the new fish. Let's go. It felt like a catfish then. So that is the... How do you pronounce that? Is it Gobby or Gobi? What do you guys say? Oh, we got some of the new new bait as well. Come on. It's interesting that you added so many waterfalls. I think why you did it is because... To make sense. You know, there was water coming through the town. Like river going through the actual centre of the town. And all of these rivers. But they, they never led anywhere. So it kind of made sense. The water has to go somewhere. So now, at the top of the map, near the quarry, that is where the waterfall begins. And it comes all the way through, and this is the the exit. This is where it ends. So it makes sense now, you know. Go B. Oh, go B. Go B, go B. Go B. There we go. Oh my god, if you eat this, it gives you minus 62 energy? Are they poisonous? What the hell? That's actually quite a lot. That can kill you. Do not eat that fish. Whatever you do. But it's in our collection now. That is perfect. That's what we need. We still need ginger island fish. We still need the void salmon, the slime jack, the legend, and the crab. Yep. That's right. I've never actually crabbed a crab. <laughs> We're still waiting one to arrive in the crab pot. Spring onions! How much do these new fish sell for? Oh my god, 112. Hold on a second. For a normal quality, that's pretty impressive. I mean, look. It <laughs> a normal quality sells more than a, an Iridium Shad, an Iridium Chub, and an Iridium Bream. We should maybe fish for those quite a lot. That is insane, guys. That's actually good money. If we can get some gold quality of them or iridium, we might make some decent money. I think we might have a full day tomorrow. The green rain was pretty cool. Yeah, I was so confused when I first saw it. I was like, "What? why is the weather just changed green? It was so confusing. But it's cool though. Oh my god, look at all these slimes here. There's so many. I don't like killing these because they might actually stay on the farm, but maybe the male. Oh. oh, there we go. We got a mystery box. Someone was saying how often do you find them? We just got one. I'm going to kill the females and try and keep hold of the... Oh, there we go. The males. If ever we get a lucky one that stays alive, we can breed. We'll keep trying our luck. There's another one up here as well. Come on. One of you survive. Don't die. Oh, some golems. Come on. Living hat. Give me the living hat. Oh. It's all kicking off. It's all kicking off, guys. Let's read this note. Which one is this one? Mum and Dad. Haley and Emily. Hope you two are doing well. We've sent your favourite gifts. Pink cake and sunflowers. Mum and Dad. There we go. Free 
2.7k. Let's go. How far are we away from 25k? We are 17. Oh, the bookseller's in town. Come on. We'll go and say hello to the bookseller. And we've got rain tomorrow as well. Crow! If you didn't know as well, if you're new to this, on this save uh, or this farm, I've set myself a challenge to not be able to use scarecrows. Yes, I know what you're thinking. You're a madman. But I'm trying to make this as hard as I can. We've got beer. Cheers, Pam. So, yeah, I'm not allowed to use scarecrows, so we might lose quite a lot of crops, sadly. But it's just part of the fun, you know. Hey! <laughs> Why were some of the cows unhappy with me again? Like, what is going on? Can't seem to make the animals happy. <gasps> Our first dinosaur egg! Let's go! Right, we're going to incubate this straight away. The more dinosaurs, the, be the better. Oh, I can't even keep... There's so much storage. Right, hold on. Let's sort this out. I'm really struggling at the moment with the storage. Oh, did I just hear a pan spot? Or did I walk for a puddle? I don't know. Oh yeah, there's one right there. I don't think I'll be able to get that unless I go right around, but it's, I bet it disappears when I get there. Can we reach it? Yeah. All that for that. Brilliant. Right, let's give these... Uh in fact, let's sort the storage out, and then we'll sort the cows out after. Look at that. How easy it is just to dump stuff in. Let's go. Right, so seeds. We've actually got the rice juice I'll keep in there. Spring onions. Uh, the river jelly. That's going to be in the blue chest for fish, along with the new bait. Okie dokie dokie! Forage, we'll put spring onions in here. We use that for food or gifts. The wild horse radish can go in there as well. Artisan goods. I might keep hold of that beer. I don't know, we might need it. I don't know. It's also a good gift, so... I'm also going to keep hold of some mayonnaise because I know we need it for cooking. That'll do. Yeah, I can place scarecrows down, so you can see up here, the scare I've tried to hide them. But there's no crops here, so they're not really going to give me any benefit. I just can't protect my crops with them. I can put them on the farm, just not near crops. So we'll go to the book seller, we'll see what we can pick up. And then I might just go and fish for that goby because the money seems really good. Feed the cows, there we go. I keep forgetting that this is not auto, so... Obviously the coop is, it's got the auto feeder in it, but this one hasn't. So we've got a bit of mayonnaise and stuff to sell here, let's put that away. Make some moolah moolah. Oh, we can trade this into the bookseller as well, which is quite handy. Because we don't need this, but I think we can get... What do we get for the farming one? I know the foraging one gives you, like, 100 wood. Uh, oh, my God. Brandon hits again the legend. The man, the myth, the legend with a 50 gifted. Oh, my Lord. Brandon, thank you so much, buddy. I really appreciate that. Again, <laughs> doing what you do. And you're going as well. Just before he goes, he drops a bombshell. Have a good day, Brandon. Thank you again for that, honestly, generous support. I appreciate everything you do. And to all of those 50 new members, welcome to the family. I hope you uh, enjoy that. Please give some love for Brandon. Drop the hearts. Drop the love. 
Insane. Wow. So the people who are new here today, because I know I've got a lot more viewers than normal because of the update. Brandon seems to do this quite a lot. It just drops a bombshell like that. That's not the only time he's given 50 gifts, so wow. Insane. Absolute madman. I want to check the crab pots on the beach as well. See if we can get that crab today. Quite a lot I want to do. Quite a lot I want to do. Let's go and check that now. Ooh. Some stuff we can sell. Ah, oh, still no crab. Damn you. Maybe we need more crab pots. That's what it is. I'm, oh, while I'm here, I'm going to buy some bait as well. Willy, 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 willy. Oh, there's the fish smoker recipe as well. But it's 10k. But yeah, um, this is another thing that I really want. Doubles the value of the fish, by the way, when you smoke it. That is absolutely insane. We've got specific bait as well if you want to hunt for certain fish. I think this changes. And also, look at this. I love this one. The sonar bubber. So you can actually see what the fish is on the line before it's caught. So then if you're hunting for a certain fish, let's just say I've only got a certain amount of time that I, I want to get a sea cucumber. If it's not sea cucumber, just cancel it. Try again. It's really good. Uh, we should try that, to be honest. Should we give it a go? Let's give it a go. I've never actually used it, so that'd be quite interesting. And there's the new hanging fish as well. Nice. Um, first of all, though, let's get... Oh, we can buy deluxe bait, but it's so expensive. We won't do that. We won't do that. Let's get our classic. I'm just going to go with... 80? 85. And I believe... Oh, 93. Let's get seven more. Let's get 100. There we go. And let's put this uh, sonar on. I want to give that a go. Uh, Steph, thank you so much for the membership. I appreciate that. Welcome to the family. The sonar is great for the trout derby. That is actually true, Kimberly. Yeah, because it's hard to tell if the rainbow trout is on the end of the line because it doesn't really fight hard. So that's actually quite a good um, a good thing. We should try that out, to be honest. That's a really good idea. Where it means... Ooh, the anchor. I've, only, I've just got that recently as well. And look, we've not even donated it, but I've got one back home, so... <laughs> that's a shame. I've got two now. I guess we can sell one. Fishy wishy. Oh, we never did this, did we? <laughs> Oops. Slay 50 damn skeletons. I'm not even going to attempt to do them just yet. I've got too much to do. They take quite a lot of time. Uh, what am I doing, by the way? Bookseller. I'm pretty sure you all know where the bookseller is now. But if you don't know, this is where you find the bookseller. Behind the back of Joja. Right. Oh my god, look how much this... We've just found this one. It's 10,000. That is insane. So is there anything that we need to buy? We can get some forage in XP if we read this book here. The horse book. Oh, sliver legs. 
Hold on, there's one there for 5,000 and one there for 8,000. What the hell? Now, this book, I would actually buy this one if I didn't have the mod. But this allows you to see the value and price of things. But we literally already have the mod in, as you can see. Uh, you can see the price of things down here. So I don't need that one. So what I'm going to do is let's trade in... Um, oh, why can't we trade? Does that come later on? I'm sure there was an option when I last looked where I could trade in the book. Maybe we can't do that just yet. No, yeah, I'm not going to buy anything. Why is the uh, the trade not there? You have to buy your first one. I'm going to keep hold of this there. I'm not selling it for 250. You can trade that in for something. But it's, it's not there right now. But also, another little fun thing. If you come behind the hot air balloon here, and you go right at the back, get rid of all the crap. See that little icon? Your hand, your cursor changes to the hand. If you click on it, where is it? The tree's in the way, I think. Oh, where's... I can't actually get to it. Can we get rid of these? Yeah. There is something behind here. There it is. This is our first prize ticket, so we can exchange that in for a, re a reward at the mayor's prize machine. Mayor Lewis's prize machine. I'm going to take this uh, wood while I'm here. I like this area because you do get a few trees. I think there's like three or four trees here that spawn back every every so often. A little extra wood, you know. I'll take it. you got to buy some books before you can trade. Alright, well that makes sense then. I don't want to buy any yet though because we need the money. We'll trade those in another time. Do you know what we could do? Oh, we've just missed out on Clint. I was going to trade in the mystery package that we got, the mystery box. We'll do that another time. Oh, the train. I wonder if they increased anything there. The train better be better, but I'm not going up. I'm not, I can't be bothered. Mayor Lewis is here. I want to trade in my, um, my prize ticket. I think you get carrot seeds first. So let's go here. Yeah, there they are. And then we'll do that. Is that a new fruit tree? Is that a new one? I can't tell. Or is that apricots? Or the sprites have changed on mine. If that's a new one, I've never had that, by the way. I hope it is. It's just peach. Doesn't look like a peach. It looks like the orange to me. Right, anyway, we've got more carrot seeds. We actually got 12. Wow. The fact that these grow in three days is pretty wild, by the way. Very, very wild. Right, I think what we should do... Um, what's the inventory looking like? Not great. I'm going to try and spend the rest of the night catching the goby. Get that money. Yeah, either way, it's good for bundles, yeah. Let's go get the new fish again. I noticed the value is quite... I want to get a different quality and see how much it's worth for, like, gold or iridium. We only caught a standard, and it was quite good money. But I think while I'm down here, we might as well get the wood as well. If we've got enough time and energy. But, oh, even more spring onions. Let's go. Good stamina right here. All the trees have grown back, as you can see. We were struggling in winter for wood, but we've got no problem now. Right, 16k. Let's try and get this money up. Oh, you've got the new sonar as well. Let's try it out. Let's try it out. So we're going to be able to see the fish on the line. I've never seen this work. How does it work? Let's have a look. Nothing? Jelly? Yeah, this is the dynamic reflection mod, so you can see a reflection in the water. Also, puddles appear when it rains. Oh, look at that. It's a sunfish. That is so cool. I love that. So simple, right? Just being able to see what fish it is. So good. Yeah. 
Yeah, we can change the bobber type. I know that, yeah. We could do that, to be honest. I'll let you guys choose which one you want to put on. Oh, it's a chub. It's a chub. I love this waterfall. I think this is now my favorite place to fish, by the way. Oh, we are running on. This is not good. I forgot to sell the things to Willy. Two pieces of stone, that can go in the bin. I think we should maybe eat the four standard ones of these. Oh, the random, select it to random and you get a new one every time. That's quite fun. That's not a bad idea. I know I'm, I'm just going to get rid of that wooden path, by the way. And we've got tons of sap at home. Like stacks of it. Nicole, you can. I did see the button there when I checked out for the first time. There was a random option. But I didn't realise that it would change every time you cast it. I thought that it would just select one randomly for you if you didn't know what to pick. Right. It, does the goby only come out in the rain? I've got a, I've got a funny feeling it's a rainfish. We've not caught one yet. <gasps> Look at this. Another mystery box. I love finding these. And more deluxe bait. Come on. The duck bob is the best. I've never seen that one. I didn't really get to have a, a detailed look at them because I was trying to be quick, so. Oh, another one. Come on, give me another package. This could be perfect as well. Oh, good XP right there, even though we don't need it. Two topaz. Okay. Get rid of that trash. I feel like the goby is a rainfish. I've not seen one yet, unless it's rare. Yeah, these are the brand new waterfalls. There's three, I think. Plus one on the new farm. Oh, there it is, the goby. I wonder if it's a nighttime fish. Hmm. Quite easy to catch as well. That was a perfect. Six inch. God, these are small. What was the quality? Still, I want... Why is it only normal? I want gold. Come on. I want iridium, actually. That was a perfect as well. We still didn't get a good quality. Ooh, another secret note. And we got no space. <laughs> um, I like keeping the soggy newspaper just because there's a chance to get cloth. We've got one random hardwood seed. Uh, two bits of clay. I'll just get rid of the clay for now. Let's read this. We're still, not, we're still not done all these, by the way. We've got loads of them to do. Loads. Uh, this, CJ, this waterfall where we are here right now, this is where you get the new fish. There's only one fish added to 1.6. Um, and it's called the goby. And it only can be caught in the waterfalls. It's a waterfall fish. So you just cast here or on that side and you can get it. We don't have a rabbit yet, no. But we can do, we can get one though. This is so beautiful fishing in the waterfall at night time. Uh, this is what I'm talking about, guys. The simple update of just adding a waterfall. And just look how beautiful that is. The nighttime dynamic reflection, seeing the fish in the water. This is, like, absolutely gorgeous. This is vanilla gameplay, uh, Jonas. I've just got, vis uh, like, a few visual mods. So you can see the fish in the water and stuff like that, and reflections. But the actual gameplay itself is just pure vanilla. Look how nice this is. We out the UI as well. This is all part of the vanilla game, yeah. This waterfall. This is not mod. 
What a nighttime cozy. Oh, this is so nice. We'll have to probably head home soon, though. The fish aren't biting. And we're probably running out of time yet. What I wanted to do, but I just don't think we can craft it, is get the tent, the tent kit, and we could have slept here for the night. That's what I might do tomorrow, guys. We might come down here with a tent and fish all night long, and then when it gets to like 2 a.m., just sleep. Shall we do that? Shall we go camping in the woods? Our first ever camping with a new tent kit. I think we should do that. A good way to get money, enjoy the scenery, and have a full productive day. Make make lots of money from the fish. Let's go camping. That's a great feature, by the way, if you're out all night. At the moment, we've got no way of getting home fast. We've not got the return scepter. You know, we've got no totems to the farm. So the tent's actually a great idea just to sleep at night. It's so good. Ooh, we got some of the pickled cauliflower. Right, we've got to sell the fish. The only problem is, I've noticed in that waterfall, maybe we should fish on the other side, but we don't get any quality whatsoever. It's just always zero quality, like the standard. That's not good, though. I don't like that. Maybe we need to fish on the other side. We'll try again tomorrow to compare that. I've already got an artifact, the anchor. I'm going to get rid of that one. We've got one in the chest here. I should have planted those carrots, but we can do that tomorrow. We'll sell, sell, sell. Okay, we've got to store some things away in the morning too. I'm quickly going to sell all this. Make a bit of cash overnight. Come on, Bob Ross. Be quick. Um, pickled cauliflower. Look at the colour of that. That's so cool. Right, come on then, let's kill these. Give me the hat, give me the hat! We will get it on stream. I promise, we're gonna get it. The rarest thing ever. It's like a 0.01% chance, but we will get it, I believe. This farm has been super lucky for us so far. Two lucky rings, everything, you know. We've gotta get the hat. I don't think I've ever caught that one, maybe once, a long, long time ago. And I didn't even realize how rare it was back then. So it would probably, to me, just like, oh yeah, I've got a nice hat. <laughs> but now I know how rare it is. I need it again for you guys. Right, what have we got? The flower dance. I think some dialogue and some things have changed with this as well. Maybe we'll go and check it out tomorrow. We'll go check it out. Right, let's go to our brand new trailer cabin. Oh, a storage room. I love it. It's definitely my favourite thing. Store everything away, one at a time. Just go down the line, deposit, see you later. Right, nothing in there. Right, sea urchin I might keep hold of in case we need. I've got some fences, and I'm going to keep the fences on me, because I always need to repair them. This wooden floor, maybe I'll do something with it. And we've got to get these seeds down, let's go. Right, we'll quickly do... I'll, I'll forget about the animals if I don't do it now, so... Give me your yummy, yummy milk. Oh, guys, we're 19k. We are so close to barn upgrade. We will get this during the stream, I believe. We're going to get the piggy wiggy. Piggy wiggy wiggy. Three hours. We'll sell all the cheese today. This is the other cabin. This is the actual fishing one. 
So when you fully upgrade this, it kind of looks like Willy's house, like a little fishing hut. It's so nice. It doesn't look like much now, but when this is fully upgraded, it looks really cool. Nicole, yes, you can be the pig. I was going to get uh, Brandon the pig, but then we got the dinosaur, so I made Brandon the dinosaur. So the first pig we get, I'm going to rename it Nicole. Oh, that was such a good pan spot. We got <laughs> Artifact Trove, two of them, and four Iridium Ore. This farm's great, guys, for panning. I love it. How did you get the trailer? Cabin. Uh, it's, it's just a cabin. The new cabin types. Robin now sells them. You can just literally build it for 100 gold. Look at that. It's a cabin that you can invite friends to. But I use it for storage. If you want to see how all that works, watch my recent video. I've just uploaded it about two hours ago. It's on my channel. You can go and watch how the cabins work and take a look at the new ones in the game for the 1.6 update. Right, we've got a garlic. It looks like we've lost one from a crow. That's not bad. That's not bad. I'll take that. We do need to sell one of these for the collection. And also, maybe we'll pickle some of this. Pickled garlic. That sounds kind of nice, to be fair. I've never had it, but it sounds good. I love garlic. I literally add garlic and onion to everything that I cook with. It's like an essential ingredient. Sounds dangerous. What sounds dangerous? Pickled garlic. Right, let's do these carrots. I want more of these. Yeah, we need a tree tapper on that one. That one. I think we need five tree tappers there. Let's get the oak resin. It's been stood here for so long. We could make money from this. We've got so much of it. Right, chickens. I'm actually going to sell all it. I've got no space, have I? I've got a little bit. I've got a little bit. Are there any new recipes with the crops? Sadly, there's only one cooking recipe that added to 1.6. Just one, and everyone automatically gets it. It's this here. Moss soup. Sounds absolutely disgusting. But obviously the new item in the game, the ingredient is moss. You can find it on trees. Um, it's all over the town, especially when you get the new event, which is green rain. Everything just turns into moss, basically. And you need this for quite a lot of things to craft with, and it's the only one recipe we get. Moss soup. It's a shame. I was thinking the same thing, though. Um, because, obviously, we've got cr we've got carrots, we've got broccoli, we've got, is it butternut squash? And powder melon. Like, why have we got no recipes for those? You could have had so many different cooking recipes. I don't know why we didn't get any. I'm quite disappointed, to be honest. But I'm pretty sure there's going to be a mod out there which will make new recipes for those crops, and I will be downloading it because... Carrots and broccoli can make so many good stuff. I don't know why we didn't get any, to be honest. Moss soup sounds like something Linus would love. You know what? Yeah, he might, actually. Carrot cake? Exactly, Spidey. Carrot cake. Like, I love carrot cake. That's, oh, I don't know why we didn't get any. Just doesn't, doesn't make sense. Why would you bring four new crops to the game and not give us any cook, anything to do with them? You literally can't cook anything with them. In fact, it kind of makes them pointless, right? Like, the new crops, what do you do with them? There they are, look. What's the point in these? Broccoli normally, carrot soup, but yeah, there's so many things. They're the, oh, they're in the remix bundles, okay. Okay, well, that's something I'm going to do on the brand new playthrough, by the way. On Monday, the first episode would be on the new farm, but also I'm going to do the remix bundles, because like you just mentioned, there is new ones that you can um, that you can have, which I've never seen, so... That will be quite good to do. At least the men at least they're used for something, you know, all these new crops. We, we need them for something, guys. So what I'm going to do now is we're going to sell some things here. Boom, boom. I'll do the oak resin because we don't need it right now. I'll sell one garlic. For the collection. Sell our cheese. Did I make the mayonnaise? 
Yeah, guys, if you do hear a beeping noise, I apologize. I've been trying to fix it. I've, I've been having a problem for the last two, maybe one to two weeks. Uh, a random little beep happens every now and then, and I've tried so many different options. And it always seems to be when I'm recording or streaming. And I don't know what it is. Um, I've done runs on the hardware, the GPU, the motherboard. I've done loads of troubleshooting. There doesn't seem to be any issue, and I can't find what it is. Uh, a lot of people I was researching are saying it's something to do with Windows Update. Uh, it's not sticky keys. I've done it. I've tried everything. I've tried a new mouse. I've tried a new keyboard. It's something to do with Windows. It's not a motherboard problem. It's not hardware. It's something to do with Windows. So if you do hear a beep, and I apologize, I am going to try and get it fixed as much as I can. Um, it is annoying. I hate it. It seems to happen like once every 60 minutes. I don't, I don't know. It's frustrating, I know. Uh, campfire. I've done it on my main farm, but we've not started it on this one yet. We still need to repair it with the hardwood. Right, so... We'll keep the duck eggs. I'm going to get rid of those. Right, we can actually do some of the garlic here. Let's do... Pickled garlic. We should actually make some more of these jars, to be fair. Also, we are going to donate these today. In fact, hold on. Let's take a little look for the tent. Hardwood, fibre and cloth. We've got one cloth. We're going to do it. We're going to do it, guys. I'm excited for this. We're going to go camping together. Who's ready to go camping? So what we're going to need... We've got the wood. We've got the fibre. I'm also going to take the stone. Because we're also, guys, going to make ourselves a nice little campfire. Uh, cloth. I knew it was something we needed. So there is the tent kit. Boom. You can only use this for one night. And there's the campfire. We're going to go camping. Oh, I'm excited. We should maybe do some cooking too. Oh, this is... Oh, and in fact, stuff the campfire. We're going to do a cookout kit. We're going to make some food. Free coal? Oh, I've got two. I've never been so excited in my life, guys. We're going to do some fishing. We're going to cook up a meal. We're going to go sleep in a tent. Come on. This is life. Camping in Stardew Valley. This is what it's all about. This is life. Life, life, life. Camping adventure. Right, I think what we'll do is we'll maybe cook some... Let's have a look at our cooking re recipes. What can we cook? What can we cook? Have we got any hot peppers? Pepper poppers? We can make some fresh... Oh, guys, what should we cook on the campfire tonight while we're camping? What should we make? A survival burger? This sounds kind of nice, but we've got an eggplant. Farmer's lunch. Tortilla. Chocolate cake would be insane. Some pancakes. Oh, cauliflower cheese. We could do that. We could make cheese cauliflower. What else could we make? I think we might be able to make peppers poppers too. We could do fried egg. It's always good to have a fried egg. Maybe we'll have that in the morning for breakfast. Right, let's have a look. Let's have a look. I think what we'll do... The stir-fry. We've got no kale. That's a shame. Otherwise, we could have done that. I think I'm going to make... The cheese cauliflower. That sounds so nice, actually. Let me have a look to see if we've got it. If we go to food... We've got a cauliflower right there. We've got a cheese from our cow. The only problem is, have we just sold them all? Oh no. No, please. Oh no, I think we got rid of them. That sucks. 
Oh yeah, by the way, I found another mystery box. It's here. I forgot about that. We've got three so far. Oh, we need to put these in the fishing chest and then we can get rid of this. We should maybe go down. It's getting late. Want to enjoy this as much as possible. Oh, did we all... We literally got rid of all the cheese, didn't we? That's so annoying. I might just have to be a fried egg. Let's go. Let's go down. Just going to deposit all this stuff that we don't need anymore. Uh, like the fishing stuff here. Or the tackle. Gonna keep all of the mystery boxes in the mining ones. Because we need to break them open. It's like a geode, basically. So I'll keep them in there. I don't know why I've got the hat that can stay there. I just couldn't check one more time that what we can, might be able to cook. Gotta cook something down there. Is there anything I can make? Anything at all? Oh, have we got any wheat flour? Because we can catch some fish and bream down there. We could make an omelette. I don't think we've got any milk. We've got some food here, but I want to cook something. Fish, seaweed and rice. Corn. Red cabbage. We need an eggplant. It is what it is. We'll have to make mm, a roots platter. Cave carrot and winter root. We haven't got the winter root. Great. Let's just go. See you later, panda. Have a good night. So we've got a tent. We've got a rod. We've got a campfire cookout kit. You need to repair that fence. There we go. We've got some eggs. I'm going to crack them open. I also quickly... Yeah, we've got rid of the winter forage. I'm going to just put these um, garlic away in a chest up here. Because that's going to be used for pickling. And I don't want to fill out my inventory too much. Let's go! We're gonna go camping. It's gonna be amazing. This is the Riverland farm. It's not the new one. That's gonna be coming for the new playthrough. Right, this time I wanna go on the left side because I want better quality fish. Hopefully this works. It's 4 p.m. It's gonna be dark soon, so you know, we get the fire out, we're good. Camping in the happy little tent. Look at all this fiber we're going to get. I'm going to come down tomorrow, I think, and just go round and get all the wood. Clear all the trees, all the fiber. Get all the stuff we need. Should we buy a new hat for Bob Ross? Is there any new ones that we've got? No. Should we get the rain hat? He's camping, he's got nothing on his head. Should we spend our money or not? Should we not bother? I feel like he's... Uh, he needs the daisy. I've left it at home. Got it. It's a thousand gold. Should we get a little rain hat for camping on? Is he, is he fine? Is he fine? It is raining though. I feel sorry for him. I think we should do it, guys. I'm going to do it. I know we need to save money, alright? But I think Bob Ross. Oh, look at him. <laughs> Guys, you've got to feel sorry for him, all right? It's not fair. It's raining and he's camping. He's getting wet through. We've got to protect him at all costs. Okay, look at him. Looks like a firefighter. It's all good. By the way, this suit is from the new festival. Oh, yeah, we're going to... Oh, guys, do you think camping here will be good? Do you like the idea of having the tent here? Do you like the idea of this or not? Should we go like in the middle? Tomorrow is a festival. What do you mean? <gasps> no! 
Why would you do this to me? We can't put it down because it's a festival. Oh, this is so annoying. We could have slept near the hat house. It means we can't wake up here because the festival. Oh, we're going to have to do it tomorrow. That is so annoying. It would have been the coziest day ever. Can you believe that, guys? The flower dance has knackered us up. Don't worry, we're going to camp tomorrow. I'm going to save it, all right? Maybe it's not raining, it'll be better. Oh, the goby straight away. Let's get... I want some good quality, come on. Can we get a better fish on this side? Or is it just always rubbish fish? Let's have a look. What is going on? We are max level. We've got iridium rod. And we only get... No Do you ever get a better fish? Like, is it always no quality? What the hell? Maybe this is not the best spot. Oh, I don't like that, guys. No, it's, I want to sell it for money, Nicole. The goby can actually sell for decent money. But only when the quality is good and we're, we're not getting it. Can we actually, like, fish at the top of the, the waterfall? Can we still get it here? Or is it just at the bottom? Let's test it out. If we can catch the goby here, it might be better quality. Get free members to join you. We can all go camping. That's so true. Oh my god, we should do that. Right, guys. I'm going to invite the code. I'm going to send the code on my YouTube channel for the... Oh, I was going to go and get the chest. If you remember, check my community tab page and you will see the invite code. Sadly, it's going to be the first come, first serve. And the first three people that join are going to come camping with me. I've got the cabins built. In fact, we can actually build more. There's, we can have eight players now, but I think that'd be too much for camping. I think three will be kind of cute. So yeah, if you want to come and join, load up your game ready. Stardew Valley, Steam PC. Make sure you've got no mods, by the way, because we will crash and we'll have problems. So run vanilla. And we'll go camping tomorrow. It's going to be sunny. It's no rain. And we're going to come down here. We're going to do some fishing. You guys are going to help me catch some fish, make some money. We're going to. I'm going to cook up some food for you all. And we're going to sleep in the tent together. All right. I might just in case. I think I might build three tents so you've all got one each. Just because I'm a bit worried that we can't all get in one. I don't know how it's going to work. Would you guys prefer to have your own tent? That might. Now, to be honest, that might look kind of cool. Catfish, let's go. Or should we all go in one tent? I don't know how it works. I might build free in case. We should be able to, to sleep tomorrow because the events... It's when the event's in the morning. We should be okay tomorrow because the event's going to finish after a certain time, right? Why did that not click then? Yep, only if you're a member you'll be able to join, sadly. Members only. I only invite people to the game if they're members, you know, to kind of like give something back in return. So, members only will see a special invite code on my community page. You kind of just got to enter it in and sadly, first three people, you know, I can't, <laughs> I can't give it to all of you guys, unfortunately. But we keep mixing things up. I'll build new cabins and we'll get new people in. So I'm just going to play through, what I'll do is, I'll get the festival over and done with, and I'll make sure there's nothing happening for the next day, so then we're safe. And I'll also build more cabins, uh, not cabins, more tents, and I'll get everything set up. If you go to my YouTube channel, there should be a thing, uh, a page called Community. If you click on that, you can see all the posts that I write, you know, when I do like polls or whatever, announcements. Uh, ooh, members only will see a code on there. Right, what I'll do is I'll quickly go over to the secret woods. We might need a little bit more hardwood for the tents. So just in case, I'm going to go ahead and do that.
yeah, I think I'm just going to go to the flower festival, get it over and done with, go to sleep, and then the next morning after, so on Thursday, is when I'm going to get the members in. Just to make sure we're not running into no problems, you know. We're going to make sure the festival's all cleared. Yeah, better safe than sorry. I don't want to invite you, then we can't sleep. <laughs> and we can't do anything. I want this hardwood. Oh, what's this? Mirel mushroom. It's hard to see. So for the tent, it was just... Um, so I'm going to need 20 hardwood. No, 30 hardwood, because I'm doing three more, right? Oh, no, we're going to have to share one. I've not got enough cloth. I'm hoping we can all sleep in one. I think we should be able to. I can't make any more, so it is what it is. If all else fails, guys, the members, are gonna, the members will pass out. They're going to sleep outside, all right? Looking up at the stars. I'll make sure it's not raining. It's all good. They should, we should be able to tuck into a bed together. We should be good. We'll stay cozy. It's going to be cold. Right? In the tent, you've got to stay warm. That also means I can actually get the cheese for tomorrow and I can cook some cheese cauliflower for everybody. Oh, look at all this. Let's sell it. What is this? Cauliflower juice. Oh, sounds disgusting, right? Like, who would drink that? Let's be honest. No one would drink that, surely. God, it's worth 275 though. That's better than gold mayonnaise. That's insane. That's just as bad as drinking mayonnaise. <laughs> Cauliflower juice and mayonnaise. I don't know what's worse, guys. I think at that point I'd rather have the mayonnaise. I, I don't mind cauliflower, but I couldn't drink the juice out of it. That just sounds rank. Oh my god. We can get the barn. We've just made 10k. Come on. Have we? Have we got 25 now? We should have, right? Oh, yes, we've got 29k. Come on. Right, let me get prepared for the camping session tomorrow for the members. Let me get all this sorted, all right? So, the music's kicked in. We are living life. The crows are eating me crops. Love it. So, we've got the garlic. I'm going to maybe... Oh, garlic juice sounds grim as well. Oh my lord, who's drinking this stuff? Come on. That sounds so horrible. But hopefully it's good money. The trailer is the new cabin type. It just basically changes the way cabins look. There's four new ones, four different varieties. I'm gonna keep them in there to, to do that. Right, let's get that sorted. Let's do the cows. Let's do all the jobs. All the jobs. And then we'll do the festival. One cow just disappeared. I'm like, nope. Kevin! I haven't seen Kevin in a while. Where is Kevin? I hope Kev's alright. Right, they're sorted. My new storage room, let's get everything away. Do, 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 do. Looking good, looking good. I'm preparing, I'm preparing. Got a, ooh, can maybe put a chest down there. And we could have a lot of camping sessions down there, to be honest. 
Mm -hmm. All the fish that we find and things like that can go down there. Do, 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 do. Oh, I'm going to take a beer. I'm going to have a drink down there. A drink in the woods. Watered and sorted. Right, let's just make sure we get this cheese. I need to get this over and done with now. We'll feed them as well. You want a beer too? I'm going to go to the saloon, all right? I'll get everyone a beer. Right, cows are done. That's amazing. Let's go. So, oh, the, the carrots. A brand new carrots, guys. I'm so glad these are in the game now. I can't believe a farming game never had carrots. It took eight years. <laughs> eight years to get carrots in the game. The classic vegetable. The value of these are absolutely awful, though. Hold on. Wow. What the hell? So... These don't sell for no money. They take three days to grow, but they give you 135 energy. That is absolutely insane. That's like the best thing to, to use for food. That's almost as good as cheese, if not better. That is really, really good, guys. Carrots are actually quite good to eat. That's insane. I'm, never, I'm not even going to... I need to sell one, though. I do need to sell one for the collection because we've not done that yet. It's down here. That is so good. I love that. Flower dance is ready. I know, I know. Maybe that crop was literally just made for a snack. I mean, people do snack on carrots. They are good for you, you know? That is crazy, though. Yeah, I'm going to eat the rest. I'm just going to sell one for the collection and the rest I'm just going to use for food all the time. That is so wild. These all need grass. They're, they're, they're roaming, but they can't really eat anything. Right, I'm just going to store away some a few little bits and bobs. Um, sell this carrot, sell the mayonnaise. And we'll go down. Yeah, I don't really have got fishing rods for them. We've got fishing rods. We should be sorted. Um, I'm just going to put away uh, do, 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 this mushroom. We've never had one of those. Good, good. The eggs are going to be for fried eggs. I'm also going to need... I'm going to make... One of them. One of them. Making a few different things. People can have what they want. Gonna cook up a storm. Guys, I've not even checked the goddamn greenhouse. We've been streaming for how long? Over two hours? And we've never been in here. <laughs> oh my god, my blueberries have been done for ages. I can't actually believe we've just left these like this. Why have we not come to the greenhouse in <laughs> over two hours' time? All this money has just been sat here. We've waited for the money for the barn. And it's been here all along. Blueberry wine. This has been ready for ages, by the way. Because when I was doing videos on this save file, the blueberries was already done then. It was ready. And I was like, nah, I'm going to wait. I'll harvest with the stream. We'll do it together. Been here for ages, guys. These was probably ready at the beginning of spring. It's the 24th. Oh, my God. We've wasted so much money. If you remember, we placed these in here in winter, right? Was it winter or was it the beginning of spring? They've been there for so long. Well, it is what it is. Yeah, look, we've got fishing rods in here, haven't we? Oh, no. Okay, maybe I'll go and pick some up. Wow, got so many blueberries. What the hell? 
I'm going to sell all the quality. We'll use all of those for wine. That's, in fact, we don't even need that much for wine. <laughs> what the hell? We're going to make so much money. Um, because then we're going to get another harvest soon. So I'll just keep those for now. So much money. Right, so festival. Let's go and do that quick. We're running out of time. I do want to check it out. I think there's been a few changes with the um, with the dance festival, Flower of Dance. I'm sure there was some dialogue changes and things like that. Oh, there we are. Cross the bridge. Hi, Turin. How are you doing? Oh, look at the waterfall here, though. Oh my God, it's so nice. Is that always been there? Hold on. Has this waterfall always been there or am I losing my mind? It's gotta be new, right? Surely it's new. All the waterfalls have been added. I'm, com I'm confused. Anything new that we can buy? No? Nothing. I don't even think we've got any hearts with anybody, guys. Oh, hold on, we might be able to... Can, is it three hearts or four? Emily or Shane might be able to dance with us. I can't remember if it's three or four. I love all the water here. Was was it not there before? Yeah, this is so much nicer. Oh, is it four? That's so annoying. Emily, dance with me. <laughs> Please. We were so close, but yet so far away. <sighs> we're going to dance on our own, guys. In fact, we don't even dance, do we just watch? Love that. Jody, please dance with me, baby. You know, me and you go way back. Come on. Let's have a nice dance together, me and you. Kent, shut up. Right, didn't hear anything. She loves me, not you. Idiot. Shane, come on, dance with me, buddy. Come on, we don't... We, Shane, we, we don't want to be the only ones dancing alone, right? Just me and you, just... Let's just dance. It's going to be two minutes, and then we can go home. Have a beer, go camping, you can come if you want. I've got beer, got cheese. Just dance with me, otherwise you're not having any, alright? Yeah? Deal? Deal? Okay, let's do it. Wow, I'm, I'm literally heartbroken. Pay respects. Look at his face as well. And the music just doesn't help. I might cry. Well, I guess it's just you and me guys. I see how it is, Shane, huh? Yeah, you're gonna choose Emily, are you? So you dance with Emily, but you wouldn't dance with me. <sighs> Unbelievable. Look at that. No wonder he didn't want to say yes. He's already had Emily all along. They both teamed up on me, guys. The anime, $2 super chat. Hey, Shane's, uh, Shane, take... Hey, Shane, take, he's my man. Don't take Shane? Is he your man, is he? I'm sorry. He said no anyway. That was fun, was it? Yeah, it was really fun. Great day. 10 out of 10. <sighs> Unbelievable. Well, it is what it is. It's all good. This next year, right? I prefer to dance on my own anyway. 
Just because the game feels bad for me right now. Oh, never mind. I saw a copper pan spot, but no! That disappeared as well. The worst look today. The worst look ever. I think I just heard another one. Oh, come on. Bridge. Come on. Lucky ring to make me feel better, baby. Come on. It's not happening today, guys. It is not happening today. We're having the worst ever look. No one wants to dance with me. We're getting nothing good in the game. That's how it is. Right, I'm going to keep all of the free cheese. Cheese? Did I just get rid of the cauliflower? Yeah, we're going to make everyone cauliflower cheese, all right. Uh, we need four, because I'm going to do all of us one. Hopefully you like cauliflower cheese. If not, tough luck. You're having it anyway. All right, don't be fussy here on my farm. You eat what you get given. Aside for that, you can drink some mayonnaise. Hmm? Your, your call. Your call. So, what I'll do is, yeah, we're going to go... We'll start the day. I'm going to invite the free members and then kind of just hang out for a, a few days. You don't just have to stay for the, the actual camping experience. That's going to be fun, though. But, yeah, just hang out for a few days. I'm probably going to stream for maybe one more hour, one hour and 15 minutes, something like that. Maybe even two. So, let's just... Uh, Let's sleep for now. Have we got any mayonnaise that we can sell for bedtime? Oh, we've done it all. We're done. So let's let's do that. You love college cheese? Good. Oh, the money is flying in right now. This is incredible. What? The blueberries, of course. I forgot. <laughs> I was like, where's that come from? This is so good. 50% profit margin, by the way, and we are out here making big money. We're on 38k. Come on. Oh, it's raining tomorrow. Well, the question is, would you prefer to camp in the sunshine or in the rain? I mean, we, could, we can't do the rain, can we? Oh. Guys. <sighs> Look at this. We've got so many crops. Kale. And potatoes. Even more money. It's all finally working out for us. I wish this was Iridium. If this was an Iridium Scythe, we'd be able to get the potatoes as well. Oh, we've lost one to a crow. That's not bad again. The crows don't seem to be coming as at the moment. Touch wood. So, let's just get my potatoes and get out of here. Potato! Oh, there's some wormies right here. Come on, then. Be nice. I hate this game today. It is just not working out. Potato! I'm actually really excited to go camping with some of you guys as well. This is going to be awesome, by the way. What a great thing to add in the game. A tent! Come on! It's the best thing ever! I wish we could have marshmallows. Oh, we need marshmallows and chocolate in the game. I could have toasted some marshmallows on the fire for you guys. That would have been so good. Right, let's sell our potatoes and a kale. Oh, I think there was a recipe for kale, but it's all good. I need to go and get you guys in. So I'm going to just... I'm trying to do all the dailies first because I will just end up forgetting. Um, and we don't want that. Let's do all the tasks. Yeah. 
Yeah, we do need oil, I think. It's all good. I'm just going to do what I've got. I've got the cheese. I've got the cauliflower. Why not? Everyone can have a nice big meal. Right, I think we're about done here. That's chickens and cows done. They're fed. Let's just store things away. Just a random beep again. This game is great. In fact, it's my PC. It's Windows. It's not the game. It happens even when I'm not playing this game. Because I was starting to think maybe it's just Stardew Valley, but it's not. I've tested it. It's, it just beeps randomly every like one hour. Once every hour. It's so weird. Uh, oh, I didn't mean to do that. We need those ones. So I've got three, four cauliflower. We've got four cheese. I'm going to keep on a few potatoes in case we need to cook with them. It's the same with kale. It's always good to have a few of these crops. Because you never know when you're going to need them. You never know. Keep that carrot away for now. I don't need that, do we? All these aren't ready. I'm just kind of using this chest at the moment to keep all the things that I want to... In fact, I'm just going to sell that cauliflower. We've got blueberry wine now. Yeah, just get it sold, eh? We've got a ton of blueberries going to continuously come. So let's get rid of all this. Oh, no. I just sold the cauliflower that I needed to cook with. I'm such an idiot. I hope I've got four more. What is wrong with me today? Yeah, we've got four. We're fine, we've fine, we've got plenty. Don't you worry your little cotton socks. I'm even going to make some fried eggs. We're going to cook all sorts. Have we got pudding? We've only got one pink cake. I wish I had pudding for everybody. We need a su Everyone can have a field snack for pudding. <laughs> Alright, we're out here camping. The camping life. I don't think we can cook anything sweet for pudding. Like I said, we need marshmallows, but I don't think there's anything here that we could do. Oh, there's pancakes, but we've got enough. Oh, no, we'll make some pancakes. We could do. We could buy four flour from the shop. That'd be amazing. Plum pudding. Hold on a second. Have we got four more eggs? Oh. Right, okay, in fact, we'll use those eggs instead of fried eggs. I'm going to make some pancakes for you guys. You can have some pudding as well. Let's just go to the shop and get some flour, and I'll, then I'll give you the code. Let's just go and do this, and then I'll uh, I'll get you guys in. So if you if you want to join, if, you, if you're a member, load up Stardew Valley, go onto my community page uh, where I do like posts and stuff like that, refresh it, and get ready for the code, and then just join. Like I said, please don't use any mods. Go in vanilla, obviously PC, because I don't want to crash. And let's go camping together. We're going to go camping, fishing, I'm going to do some cooking. We're going to have a cozy time. We just need some wheat flour. Um, we need four of that. And that's going to be for the pancakes. We've got the eggs, we've got that. I'm, so I'm going to make dinner and pudding. And I'm also going to get some drinks. I need three more beers. If you like beer, or if you don't like it, Tough luck, you can have a beer with me, alright? Oh, I've got to wait a little bit longer. Damn it. I guess what I'll do is I'll get the code up right now whilst I'm waiting. So, let's... Um, what page do we go on? I forgot. Is that going to work? Oh yeah, we're good, we're good. Right, I'm just going to get the code for you guys. And I'm going to post it, alright? Get ready, get ready. Oh no, hold on. Do I need to... Yeah, I'm going to have to host it on multiplayer. So I'm going to have to go to the main menu. So I'll have to finish this day up. Because I have to reload the day in host mode. So I'm just going to buy the beers. I'm going to go to sleep, end the day. It's going to be raining, but I think that's quite cosy. I don't mind. Let's go camping in the rain. Who cares? Who cares, all right? We can get catfish. It's even better. And then I'll, uh, before I start the day, I'm just going to reload it up in, in host mode, and then I can get the code. Because it's not going to work now, because I'm playing, I'm playing offline. Come on, Gus. 
Need to buy the members a drink. Get out of bed. I don't, I don't, I don't think he was in bed. I think he was watching TV. Do, 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 do. I'm excited to see which three of you members are gonna <laughs> are gonna get in. I know it's random. I'm sorry that I can't get you all in. Right, I've got the I've got the I've got the dinner, I've got the pudding, and I've now got drinks. I mean, we could all have coffee, but it's not gonna be a camping session without beer, guys. All right, we've got four beers, four pancakes, four cauliflower cheese. We are out here living. So I'm gonna go back. I'm going to sleep, I'm going to reload the game up in multiplayer, and I'm going to send the code in the community page for members only. And uh, I'll wait for you guys to get in, and then we'll go straight down. We'll get set up, we'll set our tents up. Fishing rods. Kelsey, that's a great idea, yeah, because otherwise you guys are going to have to go all the way down to get your rods. I may as well just buy them for you, so you don't have to do that. It's a great idea, we've got to get prepared, we've got to get prepared. Not a bad shout. Like, it is going to be raining tomorrow, but I think it's all good. Maybe we can camp twice. Um, right, so... The bamboo poles are quite cheap. It's not going to cost me much money, is it? I mean, training rods are even cheaper, but that's just... That's not very fair, is it? So let's go with bamboo poles. I've got the rods ready for you guys. We are, I think we're officially ready. We're ready for a camping. Camping with members. <laughs> hey, this is going to be awesome. I'm excited. I'm so excited. Oh, let's go. Smurf Bob Ross is ready. He's got his hat on. It's going to be raining. I don't know if I've got any spare hats for you guys. I think we've got the... We've got the straw hat. So, you know what? I think we might have a few hats for you guys. So you can choose one in the chest. Wear a hat. And then come and join me in the camping life. So I think we'll just go to sleep now. Oh, look at Flubber and Blue. It's always nice to come to the farm and see them. This is so adorable. Rain never hurts anyone. It's true. So I think the hats are here. Yeah, look at that. We've got the good old cap, the sailor's cap. Where's the um Where's the straw cap? Because we won the East the Easter egg festival, right? We got it last year. Where did that go? I'll have to check another chest, yeah. That's strange. We definitely we've got the daisy as well. We have got the daisy. It's not a hat, but you know. I wonder where that is. That is strange. Take that. I hope I haven't lost that. The straw hat's really good. I wonder if I lost it in the mines. Because we died one time. I don't know. I'll check in the house. No chest in here. Where the hell's that? That is. Oh. I'm quickly going to check in the mines. There's a cave in the mines. I'm going to have a look. Because I don't want to lose that. We won. Fair and square. We need this hat. Is it here? Come on. Oh. <gasps> Where's it gone? Well. I'm actually confused. I don't know what's happened to that straw hat. Very confusing. I love this sign, by the way. <laughs> it's so good. Might have to go back to the old footage and try and have a look where that is. Ah. 
No, it's not on the dog. Not like it matters, guys, but it matters to me, all right? We must have accidentally deleted it or something. No chest in here, is there? The only thing I can think of is I've either accidentally deleted it or we lost it in the mines when we died. Um, so when the members join, yeah, you've got some shoes to choose from, but there's uh, there's only, yeah, there's three. So you've got the cap, the sailor's cap, or the daisy, I guess, first come, first serve. That's the only three we've got. The straw hat would have been good. I don't know where that's gone, but it's all good. We've lost it somewhere, haven't we? Um, let's, what you need for? There we go. The other thing, I'll check this one here. There's this chest I've not checked with all the fishing rods and stuff. Is it in there? No. The tools. God knows. All right, let me reload the game in multiplayer. Let's do this, guys. Let's go camping. Yeah, the straw hat you get from winning the egg festival, which we did win last year. I'm sure we did. Or did we not win it? No, we we must have definitely won that, guys. There's no way we didn't win that. Surely. Right, let me um, go onto this screen here, just so I can get the code. So I need to leave to title. I'm going to reload this up. So guys, get ready, refresh the members community page, put the code in, make sure you've loaded the game up, PC only, no mods, and uh, yeah, let's look out for the code. Let's co-op. I've already got the cabins built, so that's exciting, and they are the new ones as well. I wonder which one's going to get the trailer. I mean, sadly, the trailer's filled with storage, <laughs> but it's all good. So Smurf Ross, let's host. You are now hosting a multiplayer game. Right, let's get the code. I hope this works. I've not played 1.6 multiplayer yet, guys. This is going to be interesting. So I've got the code up. I'm now going to go over to the community page on YouTube. And like I said, first come, first serve, sadly... Um, just try and be as quick as you can, I guess. Um, but we'll keep doing this. We'll do this more often. So, we'll go make to all members. Invite code. And it's going up in three, two, one, go. There we go. Members only should now be able to see the invite code. And uh, let's see who can get in. Let's see who can get in. We should now be on the right page so you guys can see. Yes. Oh my god, someone... Ev is that Evan Ruby? Someone joined so fast. Wow. Sailor Luna. You need the sailor hat. Surely you need the sailor hat. Look at that name. They'll be creating their characters right now. This is not modded Oblivion, no. This is pure 1.6 vanilla. The only thing that we have got is like vin um, visual mods. So you can see the fish in the water and there's reflections and puddles in the game. But they don't change anything. Uh, Sapphire Sky. So there we go. We've got the free Sapphire. Oh, four? We've got four. Oh, yeah. Sorry, we've got four cabins. Oh, my God. <laughs> I'm an idiot. We got four cabins, not three. I built all four of the new ones. Oopsie. I'm not prepared for four, guys. I'm not prepared. We're going to have to wait three hours for the cheese. <laughs> oh, I forgot we got four cabins. Welcome, welcome. So, let me try and get this prepped a little bit more. I've only prepared for free. I need another another egg, another flower, 
and another fishing rod. Whoever's on the farm for now, you can just look after the animals, do my daily chores for me, sell the mayonnaise and the cheese. We've got a duck feather as well. Yeah, kind of just help me on the farm while I go and do the uh, the errands. I know some people are customising the character right now. Ooh, pan spot. I'm going to get another fishing rod and another flower. I won't be long, guys. I won't be long. You just do the things on the farm. <laughs> Help me out. And then we're going to go camping in the rain. I can't believe I've got four, four cabins. Because normally, I think why I was confused is because... You only get three cabins, right, before the three standard stone, log cabin and birch. But with this new update, you can now get four different varieties. And I built all four. The trailer, the fishing one, the rustic old abandoned, and the, like, pinkish one. Um, so, yeah, it confused me. And obviously, we can get up to eight people now on PC as well. So, I can actually have four more people if I wanted to. Let's sell the pickled garlic. Uh, we've got the eggs. Yeah, I still need one cheese. I need a beer as well. Nicole, so so who what's everyone's name? We've got So we've got um Evan Ruby, Sailor Luna, Sapphire Skies, Jane McLean. Who are you guys in the uh the YouTube? What's your name in YouTube? Just because obviously I know you probably have different names. My dude is Evan Ruby. Is that Evan Ruby? Are you on YouTube as well? Is that your name? Yeah, Sapphire. I know and Sapphire, I've seen your name, yeah. I know. Can't believe you made it in. GG. Right, I'm gonna buy another rod for the person. Star Healer. Ah, oh, there you go. See, I'm recognised now. I'm going to change the bobber to random. Oh, there's new ones here. When did they come? Interesting. Right, guys. I'm going to get a beer, and then we are going to go camping. Have you have you helped me on the farm? <laughs> are the animals taken care of? Nicole, next time I'll get you in. Because you have been a member so long, I'll give you the code first. Because I know after all these times, you've never been able to join, right? So I'll send you the code, like, in Discord or something. Right, there we go. I'm on the way. Travel Aid is here as well. Let's all go and try and find a truffle, shall we? I'm excited to set up the tent. This is going to be awesome. Let's go. I think I'm ready. I think we've got everything we need. I've got fishing rods for everybody. We've got the cheese cauliflower for everybody. We've got five beers. Oh, no, we still need that cheese. Yeah, we still need the cheese. We've got the eggs. All right. All right, all right, all right. Just need to wait for that cheese. That should be done. Oh, look at them all waiting for me. We've got the hats on. Oh, yeah, we're missing a hat. I'm sorry. <laughs> One person's not got a hat on. Did someone get the cheese? Bet someone picked it. No, they didn't. Let's go. Right. Let's go, everybody. Let's go camping. Someone's gone fruit cave. Let's go. Look at us all go. The tribe. This is crazy. We'll check the travel lady first. Let's try and get the truffle. Let's finish the CC. Just look at us all going out camping, exploring together. A large milk blueberry tart. Come on. Pizza. Oh my god, that'd be nice to have by the fire. A wedding ring recipe. We can get married. Oh, it's nothing there, though. Pizza sounds... It's too expensive. Well, let's go. I don't stream on Twitch, no. YouTube only. YouTube is my baby. That's where it began. I'm not a traitor. I can't go to dirty Twitch. <laughs> Unless they paid me a million pounds. I 
I think what we should do is go onto the other side this time. I think it's more cozier. Might have to buy a hat for someone here. Right, what's your name? Which one which one are you? We're gonna get you a hat, you're gonna choose. Type type in YouTube chat. You're gonna choose your own hat. I'm gonna get you one. You gotta choose any of these. Which one do you want? Do you want the lucky bow? The watermelon band? Type in chat, let me know which one you want. Just not the cowgirl hat, because it's 5k. <laughs> Something that's 1,000 or less. You want the watermelon, Sapphire? Okay, we'll get you that. Right, let's give the watermelon to Sapphire. Uh, I've got to drop it on the floor. Are you ready? Did you get it? Yay! We've all got a little hat on. Let's go. Right, let's go and set up the tent. I think we should go to the other side. What do you think? Should we go here or on the other side? Oh, caps. I don't know where to put the, the tent. I feel like there's more room on the other side. But then I like the bigger waterfall here. Maybe we'll go here. Other side does have more room. Yeah, let's go the other side. There's four of us. We don't want to be cramped. Let me get a set up for everybody. I'm going to put the chest down as well and put all the... Oh, someone can have uh, spring onions. Look at this. I'm going to put a chest down with the fishing rod so you can get your rod. Oh, yeah, this is a lot more spacious. We'll go here. This looks nice. So I think we'll do the ten... Um, I quite like... The campfire cookout kit to be like here. Ooh. Let's do the tent like... What about... Someone's in the way. Beep, beep. Oh, let's go. Look at this. Woo-hoo. Can everyone get in? I'm guessing we all can just sleep on there, right? We'll do a little chest here. There's the rods. There's everyone's beer. We'll have another fire down here for light, because that's going to emit a big light. Look how cozy this is. Has everyone got the rods? And I'll do some cooking later on when it gets darker, all right? Oh, you can't reach in the waterfall. Oh, it's all right. Get, get the catfish. Get the catfish. I'll go in the waterfall. Oh, look, look at the bobbers. They've changed. We've got a smiley face. That's adorable. So these are going to change every time we, um, we cast. Look at this camping. This is like, this is what Stardew Valley is all about, guys. This is what it's about. Everyone's fishing. We're camping. We're playing together. It's raining, but it's all good. Don't mind a bit of rain. It's cozy. It's giving the cozy vibes as well, though. And look, they're going to help me make money, guys. We're going to make even more money because there's so much more fish. Let's go. I'm going to do some cooking soon when it gets a bit dark. <laughs> you all look so cute. <laughs> this is amazing. I should have crafted some, like, um, log stools so we could all sit down. That would have been so good. Instead, we're going to have to just stand up. Should have made, like, chairs or something that people can sit on. Do that for next time. Right, people need uh, need stamina. I can put some field snacks in there. You can all have one of them each. In case you're a bit hungry, you know, you need a bit of food. We'll keep an eye on time. It is 9.30pm. Maybe I'll do some food soon. I'll cook up a, a feast. Feast for the guests. But because the tent's here, we can literally stay till like 1am. We don't have to go back home. Because we can just sleep here to end the night. I don't know if these will be able to sleep at the same time with me. 
I don't know if everyone needs their own tent. We're going to test it out, I guess. We'll see, we'll see. Hello, Leah. Welcome to the stream. How are you doing? We are camping with members. Look at this. The new tent in the game. This is so cool. Look at that. James is offering us bait. James, are you actually... Is it James is in the mod? Did you manage to get in? Oh, no. We ran out of tackle, not bait. Sorry, mate. <laughs> we actually did have bait already. Do you guys need bait? Yeah, maybe that's what I should do. Right, if you want some bait... There's someone here. Right, you know what I should do? I probably should cook. Let's go here. So I'm going to make pancakes. We'll do the dinner first. So all of us are going to have cauliflower cheese. Guys, you got to eat this with me, alright? We've got to be together. And I'm going to do pudding after. Right, come on. Everyone, grab a cauliflower cheese. Let's have some food. Let's sit by the fire before we sleep. And then on three, we're going to eat this together, all right? Bro, look at this. I cooked up everyone a feast. Ready? Three, two, one, let's eat. I mean, there's a delay. There's a delay. I'm greedy. I ate at first. <laughs> right, and now I'm going to give everyone a pancake. Enjoy your pudding. Enjoy your pudding. I made this myself, all right? The love I put into these pancakes. Best camping trip yet. Right, let's have a pudding quick before, it, before we pass out. <laughs> right, three, two, one, go. Oh, that was a bit better. Oh, I forgot about the beer. I'm going to have a drink as well. Right, now we can sleep. I think everyone can do this as well. Yes! Oh, sorry about that, guys. The little man just went to bed. Just said goodnight. Uh, there we go. Made a bit of money. Did someone pass out? Oh, no. It's all good. Yeah, we should have saved the pancakes for the morning. You're right. But it's all good because, look, we've got breakfast. I can, uh, I can give everyone a field snack. We've all got breakfast. Someone, oh, someone passed out and they've gone right back home to the farm. Oh, no. <laughs> That's not good. It's another day of rain, by the way. What the hell? Right, well, let's just keep going. Let's just get as many cat... Oh, is that a pan spot right there on the waterfall? Right on the waterfall, panning spot. May as well fish all day. Let's get the catfish. Let's get the money. That was awesome. So you can see the, the tent is basically the same as the, the campfire cookout kit. It's a one-day use, and as soon as you've used it the next day, it'll be gone. I didn't put bait on here, that's why it's so slow. Oh look, they're not high enough level, so they can't reach in the waterfall. Try the other side, guys. Go round to the other side and try and see if you can catch here. I don't know if it's a little bit different, I don't know.
But we've got 44k. Oh my god. I think what I'm going to do, because it's Saturday, is after I've done a bit of fishing and Robin's open, I'm going to get that barn started. We'll get it upgraded, get ready for that pig. And then it's the last item we need to finish the CC and we're done. We will be done. So I'm just going to do this for a little bit and that's what we're going to do. Yeah, the tent allows you to sleep anywhere. It's basically a one-time use. If you're in a tricky situation, it's too late, you can't make it back. Or you just want to have a nice trip like we did. We was camping, was fishing. Um, it allows you just to sleep outside of the farm. It's the literally the first time ever you can sleep outside of the farm. It's so cool. Unless your name's Sapphire and you don't make it in time. You, you still pass out even though you've got a tent. <laughs> But look at this, everyone's fishing in a different location. This is cool. Right. You guys can do whatever you want. Explore, enjoy, make me some money. <laughs> I'm gonna oh another pan spot. I'm gonna go up and get the uh, the barn upgrade. I need to start it. Just feel free to just dump all the fish in the shipping bin. We don't need any of them. You can do whatever you want. Right, question is though, have I actually, I might need a little bit more wood. I can't remember how much we've got, I might need a little bit more. I could buy it, but I'm just going to try and get some on the way up. At least we've got the money though. Finally got it. Nearly 50k we're at. 550 wood. I think we've got about 400, 3 or 400. So yeah, we're going to need a little bit more of this. Um, we should be fine. We might just have enough. By the way, look at this new feature as well for 1.6. The map is now basically real time. So you can see exactly where they're going. It's not just like staggered, like ding, ding. Ding, ding. Oh, I'm in the town. Oh, I'm on the farm. Oh, I'm in the quarry. You can see exactly where they are. It is so amazing. And they've actually changed the farms as well to make it look exactly like the farm. Not just a random little design. But look, you can see where they're all going. So good. How much have we got there? We've got 88. There is some more wood on the way up there I might try and get. There's loads on the farm as well. Jeez. Yeah, the real-time map's good. It's even the same on Ginger Island as well. They've done, Gin, Ginger Island has, has... Speak properly, Sharky. Ginger Island has now got its own map. So you can go over there and press M and you can actually see the layout. Because you can never do that before. It never had its own map. And I believe that's real-time as well. See if we've got enough. Hopefully. Okay. Oh, we have got enough. Five, eight, seven. That's good. Let's get it done. Hold on. Tomorrow is raining again. Three days of rain in a row. That is insane. Love it though, I love it. Do we need how much stone? Is it one is it two fifty? I thought I had it on me. I know we've got enough stone though, we've got loads. Three hundred is it? Yeah, we've got loads of stone. I sell my fish as well. Yeah, the only thing I... Ooh, someone's got a star drop. The only thing I don't like about that waterfall location, as pretty and awesome as it is, and the new fish, 
you don't get quality fish. It's a shame. I don't know why that is. Maybe we need some kind of bait or an attachment, but look at this. It's just... They're all low quality, and no matter how many much you try or where you go, it's always the same. And I've got the best rod with bait, and we're level 10 fishing. So I don't know why the quality's like that, but it's all good. Um, there's two options, Snowflake. You can either have the money to be shared, so everyone has the... Um, the same money. So, for example, right now I'm, I'm on shared, so everyone would have 45k. Or you can actually go to the mayor's office, Mayor Lewis, and change it. And oh, I might not make this in time. And you can set it to separate, so everyone will have their own money. So everything you sell will go to your own account. There's the deluxe barn, guys. Two days. Ah, let's go! We can now, in two days time, buy a pig. And I think we've actually, yeah, we've got enough for the pig as well. That's awesome. I'm gonna buy the workbench. Gonna make crafting a little bit easier for me. There's a lot of forage around. It's Saturday. I'm trying to keep my eye on the moss on the trees as well. We're gonna need quite a lot of the moss. Look at all these leaks. Linus is gonna love this. I'm also I might check the uh, the recovery service to see if my straw hat's there. <laughs> I want my straw hat. They're taking it from me. So this is where the waterfall begins, by the way. This is the start point, then it'll go all the way through the valley. If you look at the map, it now makes sense. This is why they've done it. So it actually goes down here. You can actually see the one in town as well. Coming down here, then it runs all the way through. Obviously goes to the beach, and then it comes down here, and it will leave down there. So yeah, this map has changed. They've had to make it look right. Oh, it's a pan spot rather there. I'm not going to make that. <gasps> Frog! Let's have a look here. No, it's not there. Hmm. Might take the jade. You need that for staircases. It's always good to trade those. Oh, yeah. I've got to get this, guys. Oh. Well, I don't believe it. I, f I didn't realize you had to slay a thousand monsters, but when you get there, there's a package at the back, and it's one of the books. I'm actually going to go and do something. I'm going to go and do something. Oh yeah, look. These are the new coal nodes. You can now get coal from these little blocks. Or little rocks. I love it. It actually makes it a lot easier to get coal now. Not just killing dust sprites, because it was always annoying doing that. Or buying it from Clint, but it's quite expensive. There's quite a lot of good stuff here, actually. What is that, Snowflake? Tell me. I've been trying to figure it out. I think it was something to do with the Windows update when, when I was doing research. It happens once every 60 minutes. Near enough. And it's only been happening for the last week or two. Help me!
Right, that is a lot. We've basically cleared the quarry. Good XP there. Are we close to level 10? Nope. Got quite a long way to go. I want to max out all the skills because then we can start doing the, um, the master system. We've done farming. We've done fishing. We're nearly there with foraging and mining. And then we've got to start slaying more monsters as well. Trying to get that done. But let's go to town a second. We can do the little shortcut here. The little secret. Oh no, have we upgraded the axe enough to do this? Go get rid of this stump. Yeah, we can do that. Oh, pickaxe. We can do this as well. I did a video on this if you didn't see. But you see this gold trash can here? We've got our first book. Hey, the alleyway buffet. Finally, our first book. So reading this, I think it's something to do with the trash cans. Basically, you'll have better luck in the trash cans, right? Uh, you have a greater chance to find items in the trash. So those times where you check and you don't get anything, you might start getting things. They might not be very good, but you will start getting at least more items than you normally do. So hopefully, I mean that's not good is it? Two two trash cans and we found nothing so far. How did you do that Tiffany? How do you find the hidden ones? Oh we got super meal, let's go. One speed, oh that's amazing. What a fine, cheers Gus. You got the green rain? Nice. I love the green rain. We're going to pass out, aren't we? Oops. Quick, let's go to sleep. Let's go to sleep. Yeah, Tiffany, I know you can go into the device, um, the control panel and see your devices. But how do you see the hidden ones? Um, and if I do see them, what do I do then? We made it, we made it. Ooh. We have done, we have done. I'll look into it. I, I've got to stop that random beeping that happens every now and then. It's so annoying. It's definitely not hov like uh, the PC overeating because it's super cold. I'm literally touching it now. It's I've got a temperature, like a, a temperature checker as well. And it never gets over into the dangerous zone. Um, I don't have... Maybe too many things... No, I've, I've only got... My usual recording and the game open. So there's not too many programs open at once. And maybe an hardware issue, but I've run tests and it's not found anything, so... I've upgraded everything as well. But guys, that is where I'm going to end this one, sadly. We've been going for, what, three hours? I, I would love to go more, but I can't. But we'll be carrying this on, the same farm. Streaming this uh, save series again next Saturday. But yeah, I've got to get working on more videos again for the next week. So stick around for that. There's going to be loads of more videos that I want to show you guys. And, of course, the brand new 1.6 playthrough. Where we start on the new farm. And, uh, yeah, a brand new journey. I'm so excited. Um, so that's coming out Monday, I think. But guys, thank you so much for all the support. If you've smashed that like button, thank you for the super chats and the new members. I really appreciate you all. And uh, stick around for the next one, guys. Stay safe. Stay cozy.